Hello and welcome to episode number 251 of Flat Earth and Other Hot Potatoes. This is The Secret Show. That's Mark Sargent, and I'm Patricia Steer. Hey, Mark. Why, hello, Patricia. How are you? I'm great. You're wearing the uh, Chris Pontius hat that he handmade for you. Right. And you're going to be giving that away at the Denver conference. To I am lucky... going to be giving it away probably to a lucky youngster. A yuck, a l yucky. Oh, <laughs> a yucky lucky... <laughs> yeah, yeah. A no. lucky or unlucky person will be winning that. <laughs> right. A person of young persuasion. How's right. That? Well, they can be older as long as they're young at heart, right? There you go. There you All go. Right. But but hopefully, well, I mean, this would be perfect for a kid. Let's 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 be honest here. Yeah. Since, since you're a kid, a I know. I am young at heart, <laughs> but I'm I'm gonna wear it until then. And yeah, this is Chris Pontius microphone. Also notice the red hen shirt. Yes, that is uh flat worth. Yep, Flat uh, Earth, Matt Long. Matt Long is most, sure. most eligible bachelor in Flat Earth currently. He's not really a bachelor anymore. He's um, deeply in love. Really? Mm -hmm. Don't that don't let that dissuade you, ladies. You come in mass. You come in force. You come hard. Come what? hard. <laughs> this is your last have? chance to snag that prime USDA Matt. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> he's gonna hate me. He's like, no, no, no. He still is single. I'm sorry. I I know he's in love, whatever. And and Come she's on. a great she's a great girl. Respect love. I'm I'm respecting it, but you know me. I'm a little mischievous. So well, um, speaking of the woman in question, uh, yeah. there's going to be a show coming up. Um, I guess tomorrow with two such people. We have Jessica and her sister. And if you oh, don't man. know, now, yeah, now I completely shouldn't have said any of that. <laughs> I forgot. Jessica and her sister Summer Lowen, they're going to be on tomorrow uh, here on the channel, and I'm going to be interviewing Summer, who's um, under 18 and is a flat earther and has done some videos. So we'll be talking to her and finding out with her older sister Jessica uh, how they got into flat earth, how they feel about things, and what they're what they're doing together and how summer is doing with her channel so there you go is she coming to the conference i don't really know but we'll find out tomorrow on the show 6 p.m eastern on the 27th 2018 of Cause, september because if she is coming to the conference she might end up with this hat she has more taste than that <gasps> <laughs> why i never <sighs> well all right so <laughs> how dare hello? you madam <laughs> how very dare you <laughs> What? It plays. Ask the chat room. They like the hat. People like the hat, and some people hate the hat. Press but... one if you like the hat. Prove Patricia <laughs> wrong. You just don't like it because you wouldn't be caught dead in it. No, that's not it. Um, I think it's fun. and Of course, you wouldn't be caught dead in something that was literally off the rack. So. <laughs> no. And by the way, people might think I'm not wearing clothing. I, I am wearing something. What? <laughs> it, well, you know, I didn't even look that far down. What exactly? Well, sometimes when my hair is covering no, it. No, 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 the oh, studded, no. The studded thing that's happening down there. What, that, what is that? It's called a bustier. I know what it is. What? What? Where did that come from? It's faux leather, otherwise known as pleather. <laughs> got it. Got it. So well, the, uh, I used a thumbnail that I made with the, uh, the one of the nemesis of Batman, who's Poison Ivy. Oh, and she was wearing yeah. a black leathery thing. So I threw this on so that my thumbnail matches me. Right. You Whatever. you have everything in your closet, don't you? I certainly do. And a kitchen sink. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's like no occasion that you are literally, not literally. a working sink. <laughs> anyway, wow. what we're here to talk about is not my closet, although that would be kind of fun. Um, no, what we're going no, to talk wouldn't. about, <laughs> everyone's like that now. <laughs> no, don't do it. Um, we're going to talk about the Flatties. The Flatty Awards started in early 2016 as an award show on this channel to give recognition in a very fun, lighthearted way to video content makers for best this, best that, kind of like the Grammys, but not with the Hollywood pump circumstance and the Masonic stuff. It's just fun for those of us who are here making videos to say, hey, way to go, good job to our fellow Flat Earthers. So right. we did it once on this channel in uh, February, I think, of 20. Um, 16 i think yes and yes. then we did it in 2017 in raleigh north carolina live at the first flat earth international conference and we're doing it in denver a year later so this yep. would be the third annual flatty awards and um we've got flatty trophies like we did last year that will go to every person who wins and there will be about 
30 winners, I think. And um, we're going to be up on stage handing out, uh, um, well, not, well, offering, not offering, what is it? Announcing the winners. And then the <laughs> awards will be- Do you be, want it? Yeah, yeah maybe. <laughs> the nothing. awards will be mailed later. We won't be bringing them to the conference. But if you're there- yeah, yeah. If you're there, you, you can, get it. You can come get it. It's, it's exactly. literally right there. So it, there's insane. But we'll mail it if you if you don't if you're not there. And uh, you can win if you won last year again. Um, but the only thing is that we have to keep in mind is we are a, we are nominating people today. That's what today's show is about for the most part. Right. Although we'll talk about some other flat Earth stuff at the end of this. Yeah. Um, we are nominating people today, and they have to have. The video that you've got in mind, the creator you've got in mind, has to be somebody who did it all in 2017. Is that correct, Mark? Yes. Well, yeah, from, from November of 2017 till now. Exactly, till now. Yeah. So right. there you go. You can't be nominating somebody for a fantastic video that came out in 2015. You know, right. that, that ship has sailed. Yeah, and, yeah. So. And, and if you make your video in November, sorry, chances are it's not going to be included. Yeah. So. So last week on The Secret Show, we had people help us come up with the categories. And I appreciate everybody who did from the live chat. People were, you know, writing down categories and we took note and we made a list. Mark, do you want to read them? Or wait a minute, how about if I read them and you give an explanation for what each one means? Okay. All right. Uh, well, are, but money. are we gonna are we gonna take nominate? Should we do them really fast and then? Yeah, we'll we're gonna do them really fast. I mean, I'm just gonna say the thing, okay. and then you can tell what that means. And everybody, please in mind, and then we're gonna go through one by one and take a little more time and go into the live chat and okay. get your suggestions. Your are you gonna are you actually gonna say flat Earth before everything, or are you just gonna uh, say? No. Okay, good. Okay, so so assume we, that whatever she says, flat Earth is. <laughs> you say best flat Earth. Right. Fill in the blank. Here. All right. Proof All right. experiment. Right. That Obviously. would be, yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. Self Who does the best proof experiment? Next one, best activism. That is going to be street activism. Don't care what country you're in, even though this is kind of an American thing. American award it's show. It's international it, it, conference. It's international so conference. So wherever. It, wherever you are. Okay. Best series. That would be any flat earth related series. Uh, Got to be, I think, at least three parts to it. All right. So it can't best be just a newcomer. Who is the best newcomer on the scene that started out at the end of 2017 and is still doing it through today? All right. Uh, best globe versus flat earth debate. That would be a recorded globalist versus flat earther debate that is somewhere out there on YouTube that, that we can watch. And um, you know, there's a bunch to choose from. All right. Yeah. Best introductory vid video. That would be the best 101 video that was produced in 2017. I know there's been a lot of 101 videos beforehand, obviously, but the best, because everyone keeps trying to reinvent the wheel, which is great. So best 101 video. Like we could not nominate ODD's Flat Earth in five minutes. It's awesome, but it wouldn't fit this year. We couldn't nominate okay. Flat Earth Close. It's awesome, but that was done in 2015. Never heard of it. Yeah, I think it's poorly done anyway um, <laughs> <laughs> never liked you uh next one up is worst nasa mistake yes that would be uh something recorded can be interior or exterior but it has to be tied to the nasa space program i know we could pick on uh, other things in fact we may we may uh, we'll see well, maybe we should change it since we haven't done it. May, what best, about worst, worst space, space agency mistake yep you know what let's because we're gonna that. put spacex and whatever yeah, in there i hate to say it but spacex is gonna give them a run let's for do money worst this time. space agency we're changing right here space agency see. mistake all right all right all right next <laughs> you up thank, you can thank elon for for changing <laughs> exactly. that category name um best chat room yeah so who's got the best chat room going on right. any of the hangouts all right or best like like this moderator self-explanatory who's the best moderator in those chat rooms can't all be right. too hard can't be too soft got to be in the goldilocks zone mm -hmm. <laughs> best channel name now that's one that does it have to be a channel that came out in the past year or yeah it does it does because we we're this is sorry the rules are the rules. All right, you all may right. have a good. Besides, some people change their channel names and this do is little, true. 
little right. things. So whatever, we're, we're going to look for the best, the coolest channel name in uh, 2017 All right, through 2018. It. So it's mostly 2018. Let's let's face yeah. it. Yeah. All right. Um, best studio. Yeah. Best backdrop. Who's got the best thing going on? Can't pick Patricia in those albums. And you can't pick me with this cool Google endorsement. <laughs> Are they paying you for that? What? Did I say <laughs> Google endorsement? <laughs> I, I meant Google. Um, my laser going on back there. And the answer there to that's no, right by the way. There. Anybody you see, that? You see that? Yeah, we could see it. Mm -hmm. See, he loves his toys like a little boy. Stop it. What? Remember, I'm the arch nemesis of Fat Man, and therefore, as Poison Ivy, you can't shoot me. <laughs> um, wow. Next one Best Meetup Organizer. Yeah, who's uh, who's organizing the best meetups? Now, chances are you're probably going to have more than one under your belt. So it's probably going to be a regular series of meetups. Right. And of course, they have to not have actually started in this past year, but they have to be going on in this yeah. year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next one, best billboard organizer. Who's got the best billboard out there? I don't care what country it's in, although I think they're only in a couple countries. But if you see billboards from another country uh, other than the United States and Canada, please let us know. All right. Best camera footage. Who is shooting the best live video? And it's probably going to be some sort of, well, it could be some star shots. and some Could moon be shots. moon, could be, you know. It's probably going to be some beach stuff, though, mm -hmm. being shot from the beach. So who's got the best be beast? The beach footage is probably going to win. I'm just giving you a hint right now. Um, best meetup video. People that it's kind of tied to the meetup organizer, but not always. I mean, in this case, who brought the who? If you're at the meetups, you're shooting footage and editing it and putting it in a nice format. Who, who's got the best stuff out there? Next one is fastest growing channel in the past year. That's just raw numbers, folks. Who is going from zero to whatever we are now in the nine, ten months we've been doing this? Next one, best intro animation. Right. Who's got the best? <laughs> I love intros, as you know. And so I will be looking at this one real hard. Uh, yeah. Who's got the best intro to their channel? And it doesn't have to be specifically animation. It could be clips from movies like you do, but you're not eligible. But it could right, be right, right. just yeah, best a, intro Yeah, stuff. Like Globusters probably is not going to be eligible this year because, you know. They've yeah, it's it. not animation, but it could be eligible if. Right, yeah. right. Next one is best cover song. Oh, yes, the music categories. What cover, what famous mainstream song was converted to Flat Earth this year? And who did it the best? All right, next one, best comedic song. What was the funniest song in Flat Earth? We've got a lot of tracks, as you know. Uh, FETV just started, and you guys don't haven't checked it out, please do. But what's the Flat Earth song that made you smile and laugh the most? So shout out to Paul in the Plane, who's the one who started FE TV, which is like MTV, but for Flat Earth, 24 hour channel. Right. Next category, best female vocalist. Yep. Self-explanatory. Yeah, we're not doing any uh, uh, gender fluidity here. It's <laughs> no. female vocalist. Uh, best male vocalist. That same thing. <laughs> best music video. It's just overall music video. What was the top-notch production value in a Flat Earth music video? And there are a number funny, of them out there. Could be serious. It doesn't really matter. Could yep, be yep. done by a male matter. or female or whatever. Right. Now, next category is most missed Flat Earther. Somebody who's no longer making videos. We don't know where they went, or maybe we do um, in the past year. So most missed Flat Earther. Yeah. Who's, who's out there that should come back? And mm -hmm. if not, we'll hunt them down and drag them back in a cage. <laughs> Next one. I don't know about this one. Best <laughs> troll. I th I still back this this category, and here's why. It's a one shot deal, and that is who's the best troll out there. Here I remember, and and I'm gonna say this in front of everybody because I know there's trolls listening to this. Which is look, trolls help our metrics. I'd love to have 50 more trolls that say Mark Sargent's a terrible person, and here's why. You know why? Because it helps the metrics, and it helps flat Earth, and it helps the community. Yes, it m angers people, but it fuels. You know, we need. We need that that thing. So we're going to give out one troll award. And that is, who's the best troll in this last year? And this person could have been trolling in 2015, just as long as they've been doing it as yeah, well. Yeah, as long as they keep year. going. Yeah, it's not an original <laughs> troll that just popped up. Look, most of the trolls are, are some of them are as old as we are. Exactly. Um, next one. Best flat earth couple. Married right. or not. Right. It could be two guys who are friends who do things together. 
right. or two girls who are friends who do things together or a married couple or people who are dating or whatever. So. Right. Yeah. What, who's, who's the best flyers couple out there? Right. Or it even best, could be best, 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 best flat earth team. How's that? Yeah. Yeah. You want to change it to best flat earth team? No, mm -hmm. no. Cause we really, I mean, no, let's just, no, let's, let's, let's keep it a couple. Let's keep it a couple. That's what you guys voted team. last week. Anyway. Partnership. At that point we're splitting hairs. Yeah. Okay. Next one is best flat earth radio show. Right. And that is a full blown flat earth podcast. That's going on out there and wherever that is. So Next chances one. are it's gonna have to, it's going to be out it's out outside of YouTube. All right. Okay. But of course it's related to YouTube because but of course, yeah, it's it. tied to YouTube, but it's but, <laughs> are on YouTube too. <laughs> right. Next but one like, is, like we but this is technically is not a radio show. Right. Indeed it isn't. Right. Next one is best flat earth compilation. Right. Everybody, as you know, loves to splice together other people's work. I mean, I, more than half of the YouTube videos out there are people taking the best parts of other videos. So who made the best flat earth compilation this year? Lots of good stuff. Next one is the flat earth lifetime achievement award. Right. That's more of a, um, a mystery, to, a mystery award to me because it's, it, 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 it says who's been doing the most steady, consistent work day after day, hour after hour in flat earth, just putting it out there, putting it out there, putting it right. out there, beating the flat earth drum. And they could have been starting in 2015 or before. Oh, yeah, yeah. As long but as they're, they're still, continuing now. Yep, they're still going. It's a new award. The next one is also a new award category, Flat Earth Junior Award. Right. That's under 18. <laughs> I'm trying yeah, I'm trying I'm trying to think of something clever and probably inappropriate, but I'm not gonna do it. No, no, no. So uh so yeah, they've got to be under 18 years old, made the video mostly by themselves, and uh, you know, they can have help from their parents, of course, or relatives, but it's you know, like anything, it's a junior award. There you go. So if Flat Earth was on Nickelodeon, this would be it. Right. But there'll be nobody slimed. Not under my watch. <laughs> no. Yeah. Um, so there you go. You've got the categories now. We are going to go through them from the first to the last and then get you to tell us what you think should be somebody who wins. And then we're going to look at it all and come up with pieces from that video that was selected about maybe 30 seconds worth and put it together so that a perfect moment is what's played on stage right, right, right. In, in Denver. Um, so you're going to read them, and this is where I earn my keep because I'm going to have to type up things that stick out to you. All right. Let me fix something that is weird on my screen. I have, I, have chat. Chat, I have the chat room also as well. Let me say hi to the people that are in there. Uh, Karen B., Paul in the Plain, Scott Watts, Wesley Stace News, I Spy NASA Lies. Are Bill, you doing my job? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I am while you're doing your thing. Bill Keith, Walter Williams, Bipolar Flat Earth, got Hakka the Sea Eagle, Zulu. Wait a minute, uh, that's a brand new one. <laughs> I've that, never heard that one in my life. Got Hakka the Sea Eagle, brilliant. Zulu One, Hangnail Truth, Musicians for Truth, Plain Permaculture, Mr. Matty Moses, Foots Clark, Flat Accord Music, Bill Duke 23, Flat Earth Vegans, of course, Flat Earth Poncho Pete, Michael Cyrus, Flat Earth Crush, WW Ocean, Skyfly Bry, Globusters, Luciani, Mike Live 1285, uh, FE Disciple, Leon McIntyre, uh, P100,000, <laughs> Cold Picks, Closet Steve, Jehovah Trendmaker, No One's Flower, C Oddity, God Save the Radio, uh, Flat Earth New Zealand, and so on and so on. And Helen Watts and Belinda Verges and Effie Disciple <laughs> and Lee Horn and David Gulbert and Flat Earth New Zealand and others who just popped in Daniel Reza and Dave Hinkle and Earth is Seriously Flat and Effie Trixie and Closet Steve and Suzette Ann and uh, everyone else. <laughs> and uh, by the way, there was a comment in the chat. Sorry, Mark, we want Patricia to shout us out, not you. <laughs> what? <laughs> Thanks, Nora. <laughs> How wait what? Because this all this right here, this isn't good enough for you, really. No. You want the you want the pretty redhead? <laughs> Fine. Uh, metal dog rides, hello, and hangnail. I don't know Fine. if we mentioned your name in Arwin. Yes, Arwin. And um, it's Peanuts Clark, by the way. So, 
Yeah, Poncho Pete says your name and like a whole bunch of icons. That's awesome. Yay, Pete. Woo-hoo. That's great. Yeah, no, no. Oh, no. He can write a song about me. Yeah. No, no. I, I want to see Patricia. That's great. Well, uh, Pete and I are secret boyfriend and girlfriend. We just have never met before. It's a joke between us, but you know what? Maybe it would be a reality if we met. We'll uh, never that, know. That hurts me. That hurts or maybe me, we sure. will know someday. Who knows? I mean, not it, that that's a thing. Don't it, anyone it get there. It hurts me here and it hurts me right here. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's a joke. He'll say, my girlfriend, Patty's here or something. Patsy, whenever I come in and say hi, it's a, it's a thing. It's a thing. Okay, you let's know, do this. We Flat got Earth has a lot of those things that are a thing in every different chat room, little jokes that happen. And for a little while in Globusters, there was uh, something about cake. If people remember from a couple of years ago, everyone was always talking about cake and brownies and muffins in the Globusters chat. I don't know. Little things start, and it's fun. Community, right. you know? Okay. All right. Shall we begin? Let's do it, because it's going to take the whole rest of the show. I know. Okay. We're starting out right now. And it's got to remember be in the past year. Here we go. Please provide nominations for <laughs> proof that you're dra- dragging this out is killing me. All right, go. Oh, no, do do slow it down. No, no, seriously, it's it's okay. Proof experiment. Who? Who's, Who's got the best, the best experiment, experiment this year, guys? And I will look as well. Okay, I'm looking. <laughs> oh, don't always talk at once. Who's got the best experiment this <laughs> no, year? No one's. It's like silence. The chat's when, even stopped. <laughs> when did uh, when did the hungry thing happen? Um, well, we're gonna write stuff down ourselves if people I'm don't. Gonna, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say the hungry. <laughs> people say they're hungry for brownies now. Speaking of hungry, but that's a different uh, hungry <laughs> because brownies. We're, we're giving nominations. We're not voting. We're just giving <laughs> nominations. Oh yeah, D Marble, Puget Sound. Got it. Okay, thank you, D. Somebody who's doing some thinking. All right, uh, Jaronism. Okay. Okay. Uh, salt and sea. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, because the salt and sea part too. Yeah. All right. Actually, a really good one. Um, did yeah, we yeah, say yeah. like Balaton? Was that in the past year? Gosh, everything's so crazy. Well, yeah, that's why I put Hungary. Already. Oh, you did already. Yes. Yeah, okay. I already got that. So I've got Hungary, D Marble, Puget Sound, Jaronism, Salt and Sea Part Two, and Three. Hey, everyone says uh, a bunch of stuff about being hungry now. <laughs> Come on, guys. Um, D Marble, uh, Alaska. Plasos Plateau says Demarble, Alaska. That's a good one. Okay. Very cool that he went there. I mean, boy, talk about being a doer, not a talker. Um, <laughs> Reclaim the Plain says not National Geographic. <laughs> That's true. Not National Geographic. And uh, Skyfly Bry says, I want to say Wolfie 6020, but I think you might ban me. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Um, I think Flat Earth Crush that. is saying F.E. Core, but we do have them in there with the Hungary, like Balaton. Yep. Now, yep, what yep, about, I, yep, what I already about got, the yep, Isle of Karen Man? I, we already, oh, the Netherlands laser test was along the distance. Okay, Netherlands. I'll put okay, that. so Netherlands. Okay, we've got enough for this one. Um, well, we have to keep in mind Ranty. Just put Ranty. I'll put Ranty. And put, um, um, gosh. Uh, <laughs> Come on, someone else come up with uh, what I'm trying to say. Read my mind. Um, what about... Okay. Um, Sleeping Warrior. Yep. Sleeping you did the Warrior. Isle of Man. That's what I was trying to think of. Boy, Sleeping I like Warrior, that. Isle of Man. All right. Boy, I, we have a lot there. Yeah, we, we probably should stop. Yeah. We, we've got a lot, which is great. That's fantastic. All right, jump over right. to the next one. Next one is best activism. Best activism. I, I already am going to put down um, two people. One, of course, is Dell, and Del. two is Roxanne. Roxanne. Uh, three would be. Oh boy, I'm going to screw this up. Who, who's who's in the van driving around in Greater Britain? John Smith Globalize, who goes by the name of Harry. So let's just write John Smith Globalize. John Smith Globalize. Uh, so Joshua, uh, we have Joshua Swift, authentic attempt, who has been funded to go to Denver. Thanks to everyone who donated. Cool, authentic intent. 
Uh, I also put down Hollywood FE. That's Dan oh my Waterman. gosh. Dan the Waterman. Zoom Truth. People keep saying Zoom Truth. Okay, Zoom Truth. Fokker. Yeah, Fokker's. Oh there. my gosh, Flatter Fokker. Yeah, yeah, he did a very compelling video yesterday. He's just Bell really Fokker. sick of sick of the static aspect where he's trying to tell people things and they're just, oh, well, who cares? You know, Flatter Fokker. Um, I don't know if Hori counts because it's he's it's not activism as much as it is flat smacking. So let's define the difference. Since we have Activiz a act straight up activism is going. Boy, that's a tough one. Is that does activism also include digital? Probably. Hmm. I mean, he is getting in there, but it's more consensual. Right, meaning they have to click on him, but then again, when you're in the street, they they have to be allowed to you walk up to them. So maybe, so maybe flat smacking and activism is the same thing, and we should get rid of the flat smacking category and just make it activism slash flat smacking. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, activism flat smacking is all now one category, which will include the Hori Sheet Show. Got it. Okay. Wow, that category is massive. With so many um, activism, zoom. Yeah, we're I, I, already, have, I already got. I already got zoom truth. Yeah, flat Earth crush is asking why not a flat smacking category of its own because we can't really make a strict definition of the difference between flat yeah, smacking and activism. They're all the most, same thing. Most of the time, it's street. It's it's in person. Hori is one of the few people that actually does it in. I mean, he invented a brand new way okay, to do so it. Okay, so do you want to? <laughs> we're well, like on the fly here. Do you want to have? Uh, activism be street and flat smacking be via the internet. I, th that's not a bad idea. And I know I'm saying this in front of a bunch of people, but who else besides Hori? No, no offense. I'd like, you know, but, but I don't think anyone else, but Hori is doing it his style, right? Mm -hmm. He kind of, he invented a brand new way of doing it, which was just going into these video roulette type things. I mm -hmm. think we should keep it as one category. Yeah, one category. This one category. So Hori goes in. Realm Walker has been nominated a ton of times, by the way. So all right, all right. by many people. Realm Walker. That's a huge. Okay, so flat smacking and activism is all going to be one thing. Um, it, there's different ways of doing it, of course, but everyone's got it, a different way of doing it. Even if Hori is, as Bob from Globebuster says, one of a kind, but he is all about the activism. Um, okay. let's, let's see. Series. Um, Lori Lee R says activism is organized and flat smacking is spontaneous. <sighs> That's the only thing with these award shows. Everyone will have an idea. Uh, and I, uh, we don't want to make anyone mad. See, uh, uh, sorry, do something uh, nice. I, I mean, <laughs> I've watched a lot of, I mean, technically. No, because even if you're walking through a grocery store parking lot, and mm -hmm. you decide you're going to go after people, that's technically street activism. True. It's, or if you're not... taking um, little cards that you've made, uh, like uh, Carolyn Walk or FEAZ right. Dick or the ones that DITRH has made and putting them in a grocery store like Flat Earth Vegans has done, that's also Right, right. Activist. You can still, yeah, I mean, you can flat smack anywhere, but technically it still falls into the activism category. Right, right. See what I mean? All right. Because otherwise, you're going to be mad, but we have to make a decision. So we're going to go with it being one whole big category. Right. All right. Okay. Series. Best flat Earth series. Okay. Example of that would be anything. We'll just keep it as easy as possible. Anything that's part this, you know, part one, part two, part three, part four, whatever it is. So it's flat Earth topic part whatever a uh, perfect example would have been last year's uh, uh flat earth smarts by the way hello to uh rand flat out elected how are you <laughs> um uh, that was done by agc ajc 1844 yeah i, I think he won right. last year yeah so that's now, that's a that's a great series i know the morgyle has been doing some series right Morgoth, I've done some series. Sure, it's it's going to be so you'll you'll know it when you see it. I mean, anything that's multi-part, you know, that you can't, you're not going to include in one video for whatever reason. Either they wanted to break it up into small chunks, or they couldn't think of it right away. The Flat Earth Clues is an example of a series. Okay, got it. All right, so best Flat Earth series. Anybody have anything? Bueller. <laughs> 
Um, Leon McIntyre says, 200 viewers and only five thumbs up. Well, I think the chat can fix that right about support now. Support your host. I'm sorry. Support your beautiful, wonderful host and hit those like and sub buttons. Oh, thank you. Um, Mr. Manny Moses says, I click the thumbs up, but I'm on mobile, so it's finicky. I found the same thing. Sometimes I'm in a chat and I've hit the thumbs up and the whole chat saying they hit the thumbs up. And guess what happens? There's one thumb up. Hmm. Weird. Anyway, um, hmm. All right. Uh, we don't really have anything for the uh, series. I have a 500 part debate <laughs> Nathan series. Oakley. <laughs> Nathan, Nathan Oakley's. Yeah, 500 episodes. I don't think. No, no. That's just. That's just. No, <laughs> that doesn't count. But but you'd be up for the debate award thing. Which right. Is, okay. So we, we're going to come back to series since we. Yeah, have we'll come back to no, series. And if we don't get anything, we will scratch we'll, that category. We'll scratch it. Yeah. All right. Best newcomer. Who's the best flat Earth newcomer in the last calendar year? Right, anybody, anybody who's who came on the scene, who's lit it on fire. Um, and I know there's a little delay in the uh, flat yeah. debate. And Mark, you added to your clues this year. I'm sorry. Um, Paul on the plane says he's throwing my faking space series in there. Well, thank you, Paul. Why I I didn't think of it. Other people didn't too. So we've got something for series. Paul on the plane, self nominated, but that doesn't matter. It's impossible to think of these things on the fly like this. Because oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's fine. Oh, so I'm sorry. So is that in part in series? Yeah, that's series. And the thing is, is that Mark and I aren't coming up with these things. You guys are. Otherwise, we would have sat around and filled out all these categories and just said, "Here's what they are." So it's up to you guys. Um, then me. Yeah. All right, so the best series, anything going once? Okay, best okay. newcomer. Okay, newcomer. Who's now, who's new? Oh, Karen Corey, B. Corey just said Roxanne, the globalist denier. Uh, excellent. Perfect. Roxanne. So Roxanne. Did this this Hori Sheet? Did he just come on in in since last year? I think Hori Sheet did. Flat Earth Vegans is nominating them. So is Bob from Globusters nominating Alex, conspiracy music guru. So we've got Hori. Can Alex conspiracy music? Rebe I'm Rebecca's, you're typing and I'm writing with a. I'm, with I'm a typing. Uh, is Rebecca's <laughs> way a thing? Yes, Rebecca's. it is. Rebecca's way. And, and that's no offense. Look, I can only watch so much stuff, guys. There's only so many hours in the day. You know, for series, we could put the um. The, what's the name? The Flat Earth Comic guy. Oh, yeah, Flat Earth Comic. Let's put him into series too. Sure. Okay. Yes, do the one. I know. We already got Roxanne. Effie Trixie is saying you've been exposed as best newcomer. It, yeah, he came into the scene last year, though, or maybe. Yeah, even yeah. Before. You've wow. been exposed has been around for a little while. Yeah. Infrared camera guy. Yeah. Remember um, him? Right, right. Write that down. We'll have to look up his name. Who Who's yeah. the infrared? Uh, I can't remember guy. his name. Uh, it's right. I, but I actually, well, you know, I reproduced his videos finally. Also, best best newcomer category could be Flat Earth Crush says Nathan Roberts. Nathan Roberts. Okay. Um, Zoom Truth says infrared camera guy is badass. No, J J. Oh, J Tolan is his name. J Tolan, Paul McLean. Thank you, J Tolan. Boy, I'm glad you're typing this and I'm writing this because look how mine looks. No, no one could ever read that, ever. History repeats itself, folks. The nerds always do the homework for the pretty girls. <sighs> no. And carry their books to school and do everything else. Uh, All they have to do see. is bat their eyes and we just do things. <laughs> okay, so anything else for newcomer? No, I'm sad. Um, and by the way, Nathan's channel is Your Curveless Earth. Uh, Plasso Plateaus has added that. Very true. Oh, right, um, right, right. Rebecca and Dave, according to Chris Topher, are great together like an old married couple. So that's yeah, Rebecca's right, way right, and Dave. Dave. Right, right. That's also could be. And we are, we might, if you guys nominate them again, because we're not the ones nominating, they might I'll be remember. the flat earth couple, but we'll keep that in mind. Um, um, Jay Tolan, not JT Nolan. You know, oh, you're absolutely did we right. say JT Nolan? Well, no, it's, it's Nolan. there's a space. There's, oh, yes. It's Jay, it's Jay, Jay Tolan. Tolan. Get a different name, Jay. <laughs> Spaces aren't cutting it. That's kind of like CC because CC has a space in between C and C. Yes, and no periods. Yeah. Okay. Um, 
It's totally. Plain permaculture says, so the pretty girl is Mark in the situation. <laughs> oh, maybe this year I'll be the queen of summer. Anyway, uh, right. okay, let's, that's probably good for. I think we've got it there. In, All right, let's do globe versus, I'm sorry. Uh, Go ahead. Globe versus flat earth debate. Well, uh, yes, of course, I will put in Nathan Oakley. Yeah, we already. He's got a bunch in there, and we'll have to figure out. We'll ask Nathan him. Oakley, any show. <laughs> yeah, Nathan Oakley. All right. Best uh, globe versus flat earth debate. And this, this can be done on another platform, not YouTube, but as long as it's all about YouTube. You know what and, I'm saying. And, and that's fine. By the way, you can choose some of the ones, I hate to say it, but some of the most interesting debates were on the um, the non sequitur show. Yes, very true. So, so we could, could put them on give there. Give us one of those. Now, we also have, and, and if everybody knows about what Rob Ski was going to be doing, but it won't be able to be nominated because it won't fall under the time frame right. and we won't know the outcome. Uh, Rob Skiba is going to be, is it? Is it true? Has it been confirmed? I, I hear it's going to happen. It's actually going to happen. Rob Skiba is going to be, be debating Robert Genis at the conference this year. Robert, Ma who, of course, is live. Uh, who wrote the 700-page book, Flat Earth, Flat Wrong, which seems derogatory, in my opinion. I'm not sure. I, I'm just saying it could be kind of a hit piece book. Right. And it it is a hit piece yeah. book, for sure. I have anyway. mentioned a lot. Rob Skiba has mentioned a lot in it. So Rob, of all people, should debate him. So good. And if that had happened in the past year, we would have nominated it, but it right. hasn't. It hasn't happened. There we yet. go. Nope, nope. Authentic and, uh, attack can't do that one. There's got to be. There's got to be other ones out there. You know what? I'm gonna. Put yeah, it on this doesn't happen show. yet. Um, d um, we have a nomination of Dave Murphy in the non sequitur show. Okay. So let's write that down. Um. Good also, David Jaren, Gilbert Jaren says. That, wasn't he? Uh, say again. Wasn't uh, Jaron on that one? Hasn't been nominated. Somebody. Oh, somebody did. I was wondering yeah. what which one they were referring to, but it was sequitur. We've got um. Uh, oh, so I missed it. I missed it. Oh, gotta, gotta scroll back up. Um, Dell. David Gilbert says Dell on the non sequitur show. Dell. Oh, right. I know. <laughs> and and yes, I'm sorry. You, we have to include them because even though the non sequitur hey, look, show, you look, mean? We, we you we appreciate the competition. Do we call them out as doing things that are unethical sometimes and <laughs> unfair in the uh, sporting world? Yes, we do. Well, but they only do what they do to get subs for their channel and views, to be honest. Would it be any different than, you know, a Democratic versus Republican debate? You know, Fox News going after, M you know, NBC and NBC going after Fox. And so from so. the non sequitur show, show stuff, we've got Jaronism has been nominated a couple times. Dell's been nominated and Dave Murphy quite a few times. Right. If anyone can think of a debate that happened outside of that show, I'd be curious. Um uh, recipes, Other than Nathan Oakley's show. Recipes, find them, and Zoom Truth say the non sequitur show makes me sick. I, now, I, I we're, know. we're down with that thought process. I, I know. But, but hey, you know. We're talking about this thing, the debate. And, and, and don't forget, guys, I, I know, look, I, I know where you're, what's happening there, but don't forget, they're talking about us. They can't help it. They can't, they can't not do it. They love talking about us, which is great. Hey, it helps the metrics. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, fire those wooden arrows into the bonfire. <laughs> exactly. See what happened? Um, we've got Red's rhetoric versus Jaronism. Uh, Effie Trixie is saying. I think that was on there too. That that was on there. It, in fact, now, four out of the five. Did, Jer are... did Red's just show up for that? He wasn't really supposed to. Who knows? To. Okay. I Who heard. Knows? I heard Red's quit or something. Is it a rumor or true? Quit? Anyone know? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that kid's never quitting. No way, no way. It is it is way too fertile ground for him. He 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 can't stay away. He can't. I'm sorry. How many people look? You you know how it is. The, what's the line from JFK? Nobody quits the agency. Nobody quit. Nobody quits flat Earth, and nobody quits trolling flat Earth. How many times have we seen certain people say, "That's it. I am done. I am never making another flat Earth, you know, anti flat Earth video again." And then two months later, they're right back in it. They oh can't. yeah. They can't stop. Um. Another a newcomer I want to nominate is CC. Right? What are we doing with him? He could be nominated for best newcomer. I see that here. Oh yes, yeah. is, is he that new? Yeah, and 
I think he is. Yeah, and he like is, been around a long time. is Paul in the plane? No, because Paul uh, in the Paul plane was plane. at Paul the plane. conference last year. Yeah, Paul, Paul in the plane. Is... We, we don't need to talk about him. I, I don't really like him much. <laughs> Not, we have 200 watching and only one like, according to somebody. He comes on before my show on TFR <laughs> and like steals my thunder. So we stuff. can't nominate Paul because he's he's too old. <laughs> <laughs> no, no it's, too, um, it's too annoying. Um, I think that's different than old. He's got the best smile ever. Uh, oh, well, my God. What sort does. of flattery is this? True flattery. Um, Flat Earth <laughs> Trixie says that Red said he was leaving Flat Earth, but he still posts rocket launches. There you go. Yeah, I'm sorry. He's never leaving. He's never leaving. Nobody ever leaves. I, how? There's so many channels I could say. I've watched them say. Yeah, I make farewell videos. Mm -hmm. Farewell, I'm gone. And they do it like two or three times. It's like the freaking Stones and their farewell tours starting in the 60s. Sorry. What about Zoom Truth? What about him? Zoom Truth's new. No, is he a newcomer? Yeah. I think oh, 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 best debate. You know what? Globusters had a good one there. Uh, the the physics students versus the flat earthers at the London conference. Oh, yeah, that's great. Write that down. But write down <laughs> also Zoom cool. Truth for newcomer. Wait a minute. Truth. So Glow versus that's the... Um, uh, <laughs> we need like a third or fourth person helping us. <laughs> no, no, no. We got it. UK conference uh, students and then newcomer you wanted who? Uh, Zoom Truth. That was nominated. Moving All on. Right. Bipolar Flat Earth says, I nominated Zoom. I think I saw a couple of the people mentioning that. All right. Um, Intr introductory. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Uh, best introductory video. Okay. Who's got the best? And by, by that, we mean best uh, Flat Earth 101 video for, right. the, for this last calendar year. So if you want to show somebody a brand new video saying, I've never seen Flat Earth before, what would you show them? Whew. Just name artists. You don't All have right. to name the same the video. Just name the person, and we'll figure out the video. But it would be nice if we also knew the title of the video. All right. So uh, if you can't you think need, of it, if you needed to show somebody something, watch this video. Doesn't matter how short or how long it is. Right. That's the it one. Could, it could be like like I will nominate. I already got one. You do. Uh, D I T R H. He's good because pretty much every video he makes, uh, every he makes at least one of those introductory videos every month. All right. Also, Cami says, scrawny to brawny. Same thing. So, introductory videos, scrawny. <laughs> I'll never be able to read Flat those. Earth Brothers. There you go. Now we're thinking. Yeah. There's Thank you, Flat Earth Crush. Uh, E-I-T-R-H. Pete Shea vids. Yeah, I don't know how many has he done though this year. <laughs> no, I I don't think that that was. I don't think he's done any of this. I don't year. know if that was actually a real nomination, to be honest. Oh really? No. Oh, because he what is he? I'm sorry, is he against us? Uh, he's not. He's not really a. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm confused about what he provides, but. Oh okay, no worries. I'm sure, something. No worries. Um. Globuster says taboo conspiracy for um, best introductory video. Let's write that down. Taboo conspiracy. Yeah. Okay. Um, that's a good call. Remember the video that he did? I mean, I don't mean this specific video, but across the ice with his wife, uh, across the water with his wife, excuse me. Oh, yeah, yeah the 7.5. Is that him? Yes. He's the 7.53 mile across the... Uh, Correct me if I'm wrong, chat. You know what I'm talking about. But yeah. I'll test. Well, because that was... I Initially, I think I put I, that under... I interviewed the, him. His name is Ben. He's very nice. I, I put that under the uh, experiment category, too. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. Other best introductory videos, people have just throwing out the words Jaronism and Morgyle. Let's just write them down. Sure. Because I know we can find good stuff in there. Thank you, GoPro Flat Earth UK Darb, for that. Um, and Skiba. happy I vegan. Don't know if, I don't know if Skiba did an introductory video this year. Uh, he, he just keeps building on his presentation, which is great. What plane is Mark on? Boy, you got me. <laughs> I really don't know some days. You're on a deluxe 747 with two floors and purple shag carpeting from nice. the 70s. 
That was actually a movie. I was on a plane like that. Were you? Yes. You're gonna have to in the us. 70s. You're going to have to tell me a story. Of what I, was a, I was a child, but we flew from Michigan to go to Disney. And I was oh, nine. Oh, the old school 747. The old school 747 with two floors. It yeah. was amazing. Oh, and it was brand new. So I miss those. I miss that two yeah. floor. Yeah. Well, the luxury of air travel is gone. And now everyone's wearing yeah. flip-flops. Yeah. So. Um, this is the show is not about how things aren't as good now as they used to be. <laughs> but yeah. okay, I, let's, I do let's have move, that let's thought. Move on, let's move on to uh, worst space agency mistake. Uh, worst space agency mistake. Okay. So you're going to have to come up with either the mistake or the person who did it. Right. I'm going to nominate right away. Bling, bling, the BS of the ISS. Flat word says I nominate NASA. That's too easy. You're a dumb <laughs> jock. Nobody likes you. All right. <laughs> and you're not handsome. Yep. They're not good looking at all. I hate your hair. I hate your feet. <laughs> So I'm going to put down bling bling the BS of the ISS because she does a lot of space agency mistake videos. Just for that, when I get to the conference, any attractive woman that comes up to me and starts talking to me about stuff, I'm going, you know, I'm kind of busy right now, but you know who you really should talk to who was pointing you out just a little few minutes ago? Yeah, that tall looking guy over there. He, Matt is taken. No, I'm still going to do it. No. <laughs> Anyway, uh, <laughs> the astral thief is saying we're all flat earth. Why the awards? Uh, the awards are given to be a nice thing for people. Yeah, yeah. Rec look, recognition for people that, do that have done some wonderful work. It's a pat on it's the back. So it's sometimes, a good, some, good some, job. You know. Sometimes thumbs up and subs and co nice comments just aren't enough. You know, exactly. let's, let's give credit where credit is due. Okay, so worst space agency mistake. I guess can't really be a person. I was saying okay. bling bling, but um, we can find we can nominate bling bling for the fly video. So fly video. We also have um, uh, Japanese asteroid landing as worst space agency mistake that just happened. So uh, Japanese asteroid landing. I'm pretty sure the front runner of this, and I'm already saying, and the space. hole, the space hole. Well, yeah, you know, you know who did a fantastic job on this. Hmm. On this category was uh, Mike Helmick. All right. Remember for the and oh, and DITRH has done some wonderful stuff. Mm. Uh, on, he he loves ripping and Jaronism has done some great stuff. All right. So the uh, the 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 hole uh, in the ISS, yep. the fly on the ISS, the Japanese asteroid landing. I think they even said that they landed things that hop on the moon <laughs> oh we can't even forget the, the whole tesla thing i oh, mean yes. oh, the, yeah, the, yeah. <laughs> bob Sorry. of globebuster says the live feed edit itself right. i mean that crazy right. mind-blowing right in fact yeah you know what you know i'll talk about that one because mm. even though yeah yeah that's yeah okay but yeah, Mike Helmick, of course. Mike Helmick, Mike, Mike augmented Helmick reality. Fantastic job. Yeah. Fantastic job. I don't know if he can actually beat out Elon Musk himself. Right. He is a he is a mistake, Elon. Yeah, <laughs> Period. We may have to, yeah, well, you and I will talk about that. Um, uh, hello to Person Scribe who says no thumbs up. Yes, there's something wrong with YouTube right now. So if everyone gives a video a thumbs up, it might show one. <laughs> Anyway. Yeah, TRH did one, the SR-71 vid. Yep, we'll take a look at that. Um, yep. Bling Bling, the BS of the ISS, says it was not a NASA thing. It was an Elon Musk thing. But we've changed the category to worst space agency. Space agency. Yeah, yeah, it's It'll not going to be a NASA. It'll cover NASA, RASA, you know. RASA? You're just, yeah. making, you're just making letters <laughs> up now, aren't you? Exactly. Okay, it's JAXA. Wow. Uh -huh. it's, it's JAXA. ESA. Okay, so it's Japan, Europe, NASA, Rasa, Israel, Rasa. <laughs> Israel, India, China, the United States, Canada, right, and SpaceX. Every, did you say space sex? <laughs> That's why they named it that because it sounds wow. like sex, and it's for the younger people. It's for the millennials. I swear, SpaceX is for. Am I, rub am I rubbing off on you? Wow, well, that's that's good. With all say. of the yeah, kind of a little. Am I rubbing off on you? I uh, I wish. But, <laughs> All right, so we've got some good ones, um, I think. Okay, let's uh, let's do Move that. On. Let's do uh, chat room. Boy, this is going to be hard to.
to figure, but we're, we're trying to, we're going to do a good job on this. No, we'll get it. Bet your bottom dollar. Um, the next ch uh, category is best chat room. Best chat room. All right. Who's got the most entertaining chat room out there? It doesn't have to be the most polite. It doesn't have to be the most politically correct. What chat room do you just smile every time you go into it? You have the most fun. And I know you have some of the same players going into you know these chat rooms, but uh, what do you like? What chat rooms can you not stay away from? Who's out there? Glowbusters, okay. of course. Yeah, Glowbusters. When you have a thousand people. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, let's see. Glowbusters. What other chat room is absolutely fantastic? Boring. Or, hey, it could be absolutely horrible too <laughs> if you like going there for some reason. Um, we've got a nomination from Josh from Oregon who says Zulu won. I will second that nomination. Nathan, Zulu. Zulu won. Uh, if you don't know, he has a chat room every Tuesday night and he runs from TFR Truth Frequency Radio, Mark Sargent's Strange World show. So uh, he also plays the commercial. So TFR does get the commercial exposure. No one's getting ripped off here. Right. So um, there we go. Um, Nathan Oakley says my channel, but. I can't win anything, but thank you. Um, also, Bling Bling, the BS of the ISS says Hori, because Hori does it on Facebook, yep. and, so, and that's fun too, but I don't know, is Facebook being counted, or is this just, mm, if you were I, doing so, it on YouTube, it would count. So far, I've got, oh yeah, Poncho Pete. Although Poncho Pete is not so much a chat room no. as it is a hangout. Right. I mean, I've been, hey, let's let, let's call it what it is if Poncho is listening. I've been in that chat room for minutes on end and no one's even seen me. And I'm typing and I'm typing. Yeah, it's like everybody in the hangouts, they're just kind of zoning out. We're Nobody's talking watching about the chat room. The chat room where people are engaging with each other. Right. Um, a Persian scribe says Martin Leakey's chat. Perfect. Perfectly good example. Globusters is a great example as well. I've got I've got Globusters, Hori, Nathan, Zulu one. Yeah, I mean this chat room. I'm not saying it's a great chat room, but you guys are great. But it is an example of a chat room where people are interacting with each other. Right. Um, Flat Earth Vegan says Hori does on YouTube. So Hori does stuff on YouTube and has a good chat room. So we're gonna Flat Earth Vegans got to trust him. We're gonna write that down. Hori. Got it. All right. I shouldn't just say hoary. It just, Jamie, just, Jamie just Brown, I see it. Like, they're talking about whores on this show. <laughs> Ro Roxanne, I see that. Yes. Yep. Jaren is raw. Sun and moon was a... Was, uh... Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Everyone. Okay. That's a hard call, though. And Gathka the Sea Eagle says it's a hard call. Martin right. does have a, a good one, a good chat. Um, Glenn Parent says all the Flat Earth chats are great. See, that's the thing. We know that. Um, also, Nathan Oakley's chat room has been nominated a couple of times. Um, Jose J.G. Gonzalez is saying it and a couple other people. Um, so we're going to put Nathan Oakley. Even if people are at each other's throats. Right. I always am troubled when I go in there. Sometimes I troll back. Most of the time I just leave. <laughs> all right, let's jump to... Um... <laughs> Um, moderator. let's see. What do we got? Moderator. Best chat room moderator. Who's out there? Who brings the pain and brings it with kindness? <laughs> it's like killing people with a velvet coated hammer. Mm. Mm. Interesting. I like it. Mm. Um, who is good at it? moderating? Right. Um, doesn't, doesn't hit too hard, doesn't hit too soft, but is fair and balanced. Not to be confused with the no spin zone. <laughs> Um, Bob of Globuster says, me. You? You? <laughs> who, who do you? <laughs> well, you know, Bling Bling, the BS of the ISS, is very good at moderating fairly. Karen B. Karen B. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Karen B. I've yeah. heard of her. I, I haven't really yeah. talked to her. Yeah. Uh, Nathan Oakley. Okay. Karen B. Nathan Oakley, Cammy. Bob of Globusters, Cammy, Karen B is getting nominated a lot. Oh my gosh, Chris overwhelming. Um, <laughs> bling bling. Mm, yep, bling bling. Karen B. Those are the ones that he, seem. How to is be. Elon Musk a moderator? That's what I want to know. <laughs> Eight forty-two nominates have. Elon. You know, yeah. Um, Persian Scribe says, Bob wins enough awards, the bastard. 
<laughs> I spy NASA lies. Oh yeah, can yeah, candy's a good mod. Okay. Definitely. Bill Keith nominates the mod in the chat today here now, Chris Topher, who's a mod elsewhere as well. So let's write down Chris Topher as well. You know who's a, a, a mod in many chats? Uh, Metal Dog Rides is saying Ace, Ace McLeod. Cami also nominates Ace. Also Ute, who used to be Ute Hube. Oh, right. Now it's just Ute. <laughs> WW Ocean says Lord Stephen Christ. <laughs> hmm. We're just That's, having random names thrown out. I don't think he's moderating much from the mental health ward <laughs> he's currently occupying. Right. That's fine. Um, if he, and if he's out, by that's uh, fine. But uh, I don't think he's out. All right. All right. Next. We got it. Next up on the uh, list is best channel name. All right. Best channel yeah. name. It's got to be something in the past um, year. Past year. So who's a good channel name? So, for example, the channel name Bling Bling the BS of the ISS is a good channel name. It's wordy, but it's a good channel name. It can't be nominated, though, because it was last year or the year before. Um, another good channel name is All People Free People, but it can't be nominated because right. his name has had that one for a while. <laughs> Globusters 2. I don't think Sequels can be nominated. <laughs> no. Uh, Zoom Truth? That's a good channel name. Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah. We'll throw it in there. Remember that show that was on in the maybe the 70s and 80s? And if you're if you're too young, you won't remember, but it was out of Chicago and it was called Zoom. It was a kids show. Anybody remember Zoom? Really? Yes, you'd have to be. Are you yeah. asking somebody besides me? Well, there's other people in this chat who are a little oh, bit okay. older. Because yeah, I remember. It was all like that. Sesame Street, but for yeah, it older. Was a it was on PBS. It was PBS. It was, it yeah. was part of the PBS lineup with yeah. Electric Company and Sesame Street. And Space. I thought it was cool, but it probably had tons of programming in it that I took in unbeknownst to myself. In fact, I didn't really watch Zoom. I was a, mm -hmm. I was a Sesame Street knob. It's like if it wasn't Sesame Street or Electric Company or Mr. Rogers, it was like, I'm sorry, I just don't have time for you. I liked all those shows. Really? It's funny because I don't watch TV now, but there was that time in childhood where you watched a lot of TV. Sure. Bill Keith is remembering Zoom. So, okay. Um, do we do we do we not have any name? Oh, no channel name. No one likes any channel names. Is, here. Are we? I mean, no. I don't think. Well, yeah. Hori Sheet might be okay, but I don't know if he's been around longer than a year. I think he's new. All right, Hori Sheet show right. definitely, because that is an interesting name. And we've got Zoom Truth, Hori Sheet, and Zoom. Flat Earth Vegans says Flat Earth Vegans. Um, <laughs> they, yeah, they would be. That would be a great channel name. But they were here before. This really looks like what a serial killer would have, like posted on wall. <laughs> you know what? We we may we may revisit that one. I'm going to put some X's there because I, I don't think we're. I think all the good names were taken early. Oh, here's right. another one. Paul on the plane is saying you're curveless Earth. That's yeah, you know a great what? Great name. That is a good name. Go. Yeah, your. <laughs> I, I might as well give up. Yeah, Nathan why are Oakley, you even writing anything? I've got a spreadsheet over here. It makes me look like I'm doing something. Uh, it makes me feel important. <laughs> really, that's like when I'm carrying your your backpack and like you pull a a lipstick out. <laughs> right, exactly, and ask you to hold my mirror. <laughs> And then, then, then you don't put it in the bag and it makes you feel like you're actually carrying something. Yes, exactly. I'll hold this. <laughs> oh, All right, um, let's move on to... Best Flat Earth Studio. So by studio, we mean something like this background we've got. Or it can be digital. It's, so yeah. I'm going to immediately put in the Hori Sheet Show. Yep. Let's just uh, give him all the awards. Yeah. <laughs> it seems like. Uh, who has a cool backdrops? Uh, or, you know... So think of who's got good backdrops, guys. Yeah, I know. Yeah, Hori we've got Hori. You don't have to keep saying Hori. Got that one. Awake Souls. I'll put Awake them in there. Souls? Oh, yeah, they do they some. They do do a 3D thing. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, math Powerland. <laughs> Does he even do green screen? Oh, no, his backdrop. It doesn't have to though. be green screen. It could be you a know, backdrop. You know math what? I'm, I'm going to put Powerland can be there, too. It, it was hand-painted. Yeah, let's throw him in there. Oh yeah, Dell, absolutely. Oh my gosh, yes. Remember, uh, remember last year, uh, there was a backdrop that was so terrible on routine basis, it won its own award, which was Poncho Pete. Right. 
the worst <laughs> backdrop ever. We not we do not have a worst backdrop this year. No, we don't. Because Poncho, I think, would just keep winning it. All right. Yep. Uh, anybody else? Backdrops, Bro Sanchez. So, all right. You know, oh, yeah, Bro Sanchez. Cool one was uh, Dread. Who? Dread. Big Dread. Oh, yeah. Dread had a good and, one. And with his daughter, Flat Earth Teen. Flat Earth Teen. She is so sweet. She is very nice. I'm subscribed to her. Uh, Roxanne. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's not good. digital, but you know. And what? Roxanne should also be nominated for best animation or intro. What? Ooh, put that down. Anybody see? Oh, well, uh, I, yeah, um, yeah, but it's not, it's not, we're not there yet. It's no, we, we already did that, did we? No, 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 no. We haven't. Oh my gosh, it's we didn't six get there categories yet. away. We still got to do that. All right. So backdrops. We got Hori Sheet, Awake Souls, Math Power Land, Dell, Bro, Bro Sanchez, Roxanne. Sounds good. Let's move on. All right. Um, best meetup organizer. Who's organizing the best meetups out there? Last I year know. it was uh, all people, free people. David. Who is yes, it going well. to be this year? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, thinking about some of the people, you know, because I do a lot of the meetup promos. In Los Angeles? There, Los Angeles does some nice ones. Netta does some great ones. Let's put Netta. Yeah. She and her significant other just had a baby. Yeah, that's LA. Yeah. Anyone else? Who's, well, oh, does. Flat Earth Fokker organizes meetups. Yep. And he was getting upset yesterday doing a video saying he just feels like not even organizing meetups anymore because people say, oh, I'll come next time, and they never show up. So, Flat Earth Falker. That's from Vancouver. Mm -hmm. uh, All People Free People says Arcadia Meetup, and that yep. would be and Netta. That's, that's Netta. That's Netta. The Arcadia Meetup was stellar. Mm -hmm. Um. Anybody else looking? Um, Plain Permaculture says that Jamie Brown does a lot of organizations for meetups. Jamie Brown. I, yeah, you're absolutely right. That's out in the UK. Um, Wesley Stace and Flat Earth News Talk says Joshua Swift has done six this year. Okay, Joshua Swift. And Bling Bling is asking, can I be nominated for anything? No, M Mark and I aren't, aren't part of it. And that um, is mostly because I don't like Bling Bling as a person. <laughs> Just want to get She's that coming to Denver. I can't wait. I can't wait to see everybody. So, but I can't wait. Um, I know she and I would be friends in real life if we live closer to each other. Is that you know an, how that is, is? Is that an IRL? IRL. Which yep. is a TLA. Mm. I'm, I'm trying to nerd you into like a coma. <laughs> it's not going to work. Well, authentic uh, content. You, did, what are you little curl action on your hair today? My hair is like, I'm supposed to be like kind of a little bit like poison ivy and she had some. Oh, uh, right. Hair. She did have a little curls. You didn't put any, oh, but the, but you have kind of leafy earrings. Yeah, I have leafy earrings. It's not really poison ivy. It's Which were given to you by the Duke of Westchester, if I'm not yes, mistaken. Exactly. Yeah. After yeah. I refused his advances. Yeah. Um, you haven't worn those anyway. in like eight years. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So best meet of organizer, uh, Gary John. Was uh, does did Gary John organize a meetup? I don't know. Mm, I don't know. Stuff doesn't count. Martin Leakey has organized meetups, true, but that would have been not within the past year. Oh, Jibby Jedi, he's got Flat Earth New England. Okay. Yep. Okay. All right. All right. Moving on. Next Over. up is best billboard organizer, person who puts together the billboards. Gets them going, gets the funding coming in. I'm going to write all of the top nominate somebody um, because it would be uh, DITRH. DITRH, uh, Celebrate Truth. Yep. For the Canadian one. Uh, now, we know that Gary John organized the uh, the UK conference and uh, um, Robbie D, the flat earth international conferences but we're talking about meetups and billboards right now so uh zulu one says I, oh, I forgot the green lipstick I, you know i did but i figured if i just turned on a uh, hangout for the secret show and was wearing green lipstick a thou it would launch a thousand and one unfortunate memes <laughs> so, yes it would i decided to not do it no no um anybody else for billboard organizer billboard organizer Anything else? 
Going, going. Going, 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 going in. Sold. All right. Camera uh, footage. Up next, camera footage. It could be the moon. It could be the beach. Who's shooting the best video out there? Best video. It out. doesn't have to be a P900. It can be some off brand. All right. Jay Tolan gets nominated again. Yep. I think. Camera footage, Jay Tolan. Awake souls. <laughs> Who keeps saying awake souls? <laughs> they just want their name mentioned, I think. Uh, they're, they're haters of this in every channel. Ron Hagberg? Ron Hackberg, yep. Oh, forgive me, I don't get to watch. Absolutely and good night to Nora No One's Flower in Ireland. She's going to bed. Well, Ranty. Yeah. This is gonna be very. This is gonna be very similar to the uh, yes. experiment thing. Yes. Uh, Her eyes on level also has nominated Ranty. Page forty two nominating Ranty. Nathan Oakley is saying Ranty and Anthony Riley, Sleeping Warrior. Hey, um, Taboo conspiracy as well. So Nathan Roberts, Myrtle Beach, Bill Keith is throwing in. We're right. getting a lot of ranty nominations. Yeah. Oh, and Wide Awake as well. Of course. Let us not forget. Okay. Wide Awake. Zulu One says Stan Smith. Stan Smith um, was also a tennis player, I believe. I always think that. So it could... Uh, could be any of these people. Not to be confused with Smith. tennis player Matt Long, eligible bachelor, going to be at the Denver conference. And not eligible, has a girlfriend. <laughs> oh, I will love, be on my show tomorrow. I with love sister. how you say that. <laughs> I'm protecting love relationships. That's what I am as a relationship yeah, you're, protector. You're protecting, you're protecting your gender is what you're doing. No. In fact, protecting her. Well. She's got to fight for it. No. It's not going to be a cakewalk. <laughs> Sorry, it's not going to be. Oh, gosh. Mark. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> anyway, P100, uh, P1000 Cool Picks is being nominated by My View 1875. Can't, can't nominate a camera. Okay, we got, we got plenty. We're looking for camera footage. We're not looking for the actual camera because the, the. Yep, yep. Infrared the, guy soundly. That's funny. Yeah. Okay, let's 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 go to meet. All up. right, up next, um, best meetup video. Who shot the best meetup video? Uh, we're gonna. I'll put down Fokker. Mm -hmm. I'll put down. Um, who's shooting at Arcadia? P one thousand cool picks is Sandra. By the way, it's a channel and a person. Does she have footage? I think Sandra? yeah. Okay. Uh, Dwayne Kellum, according to Bob of Globusters. So best uh, meetup video. Dwayne Kellum, is oh, that what that's right, for, Bob? Right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah, I, I didn't, I didn't talk about. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, let's see. P1000 Cool Picks is saying unbelievable, but I'm not sure. Please clarify what you mean. Flat Earth Dude. He's been saying it a few times. Uh, um, maybe. D Marvel. D Marvel show. Stuff. What? Um, it's, it's a channel named P1000 Cool Picks is saying P900 Cool Picks, and it's confusing to us reading it. So if you clarify what you're nominating for, that would be cool. Or drop a wrench on them. Your choice. Yeah, no. See, uh, lots of video footage. Right <laughs> uh, anyway. So um, we, we've got, we've got Fokker, Dwayne Kellum. The best Dwayne Kellum. footage uh, is the one that Bob just said. Bob's was Dwayne Kellum for best footage, camera footage? Yes. Mm -hmm. Dwayne okay. Keller, uh, Phuket 020. P1000 Cool Pick says it's my channel. Yes, I know. But you're nominating a camera, even if your channel name is also a camera. And we're not looking for the nomination of a camera. We're looking for a nomination of footage. <laughs> sorry. All right. I know it's. Oh, oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Zulu had a good one. Um, Effie yeah. Mishka. Yeah. For a meetup video. Okay, good, she, good, good. She had a great one. Me, Mishka, Mishka, got it. Okay. Okay, and another um, meetup video would be Lucy Lemons. Right. Yeah, Christopher remembered that. The thing is, is it's very hard to remember all of the things that have happened in the past year. Flat Earth years are similar to cat years. <laughs> A lot gets compacted and compressed into 12 months. 
Um, also, um, Sydney did uh, really good salt and sea stuff. Right. But it might have just been experiment videos. Oh, it's a tough, tough call yeah, it's on tough. that one. Sydney's does a lot. So, Effie Mish Mishka, uh, best meetup video, and that's got it. Got it. There we go. Um, da, da, da. I think we're good. Okay. Um, oh, on. and we uh, non schooling says we need to go back and nominate Isa Mahalski for chat room. So let's put his name in there, Isa. Scroll up. Isa Mahalski. All right. Metal, Metal Dog Ride says we need a new category called Best Flat Earth Cat on Camera. He nominates Rory. <laughs> I, I, I think it's okay if my cats win something. That is pandering, sir, and I will not tolerate it. And I love it. Uh, okay, so meetup video, we've got some good things. We've got some good things. Okay, fastest growing channel. And no, Simon, die, is, Simon Dan doesn't count. No, he doesn't. Uh, yeah, so who's the flat, fastest flat earther in this last calendar year? Last year, I believe, fastest growing channel was D Marvel. I think so. Yeah. Who's out there? Fastest and, and, growing and channel. And we can look this up, of course, but it'd be nice if you guys could, like, drop us a hint beforehand. Uh, Plasso, uh, Plateau says Greer is the best flat earth cat. <laughs> and uh, I, don't, I, don't think, I don't think Hori Sheet Show is the fastest. No. That's the... Uh, growing sun and moon they think they've been around longer than a year right no, but fa can... fast is not celebrate truth is way over a year this is just the 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 fastest fastest newcomer right 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 fastest growing channel well yeah. you know what does it have to be a newcomer no 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 i mean the people okay so the people that that had the most that generated the most subs in the last calendar year yeah. Okay. Well, in this case, we're we'll be talking about some heavy hitters. Then. What about Nathan Roberts? Bill Keith mentions Nathan Roberts, and Paul on the plane says your curveless earth, which is Nathan Roberts. Uh, he would be if we were if we were doing just this calendar year. Nathan Roberts would be up there definitely. All right, let's put him in there because I guess it's supposed to be this yeah. calendar year, right? Yeah, That's it really because otherwise, here's the problem: if you don't because subs and hits, then you run into the whole PewDiePie scenario where it just keeps getting they keep getting bigger and bigger, and the person that wins it one year has the tendency to keep winning it because he just keeps it. The snowball just keeps getting bigger and bigger. You know what I mean? Exactly. And they're exactly. never going to. So it is from uh, last awards to this awards. That right. is our cool right. calendar year. Okay. Um, well, your yeah, Eric, Eric Dubay doesn't count because it's his is not a new channel. It's a reboot of his right, old channel. Right. Um, also, uh, we've got Bob of Globusters nominating Jay Tolan Media. Uh, Jay Tolan Media One is the name of the channel uh, who's done got extremely it. well. Um, and also, um, we need to look at the subs for uh, Connecting the Dots and Roxanne. All right. Yeah. Thank you for that, Richard Lopez. We'll we'll look around and figure out who it is. Yeah. No worries. Okay, good. Flat Let's Out Elected check. also is saying your curveless earth. Yeah. Is that, that's so we've got some good ones. And I do want everybody to know that, you know, we're gonna miss some great people here. We're going to forget to nominate, forget to award. And that's because this is very unofficial. And exactly. it's very much about fun in community. So right. you know? Right. That's what it's all about. Okay, next up is, I thought we had covered this earlier, but we didn't. Intro animation, best show opening. It doesn't right. have to be animation. It could be uh, best intro to the show. It can be uh, movie clips or, so for that one, I was thinking that Roxanne would be great because she's got a very cool connecting the dots opening. So let's Roxanne's put her. Good. Yep. Best open. Who's got the best intro? Yeah, let's put best intro. Forget the word animation, because could, it could be yeah. anything. Could be anything. Oh, yeah. well, most of them are animated. Yeah. Who's got something besides? Yeah, Globusters and Jaronism. No, we already got. We already, they were. It's it's got to be new. Mm hmm. Got to be new people. Um, Stan Wilder is saying trolls are really thumbing down the show. Nice to finally find out that there are 100 trolls watching. Well, it's not 100 trolls that are watching. It's, I don't know, a much smaller number, but many of them have multiple sock accounts. Does, 
let me ask you this. And you when they I get have... booted, they, they come and thumb down and come back with another name. It's an age old trick and it doesn't bother me at all. Otherwise, mm-hmm. if it bothered me, I'd remove the thumbs. Mm-hmm. I don't care if there's 400 thumbs down and only 100 thumbs up. You and I haven't really talked about this, but can it be a new intro for an older channel? Mm-hmm. I, think it, I think it could because channels do create brand new intros. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yes, it could be. Okay. Yes, it could be. Judgment um, call. You heard it first. All right. So, <laughs> so in which case we would do also um, Globusters. Mm-hmm. Yes. They have their brand new. By song. the way, Earther X is asking, why does Flat Earth need to be fun? Flat Earth can be whatever oh, you what? want it to Who be. Said that? Who said that? <laughs> Flat Earth can be whatever you want it to be. If you don't enjoy some <laughs> some fun and levity, don't go to the channel. If, if you want to be a grizzled, <laughs> glass half empty type of person and just be like, oh, I want everything to be like Heath Ledger and Batman, that's fine. But well, I mean, you know, there's there's many different ways to deal with the situation of the fact that we've been lied to. This channel is a little more lighthearted, but when I do the interviews with the people who are flat earthers, we go into depth about their background. The secret show is very lighthearted. That's what it's supposed to be. Yeah. So you do flat earth your way and I'll do flat earth my way. And we all go where we enjoy being. Easy, simple. Is that the the long version of you do you and I'll do me? Exactly. Argument? Oh, okay. Yes, exactly. Um, that's, that's the yeah. You know, it's a very, 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 very dark situation if you were to sit around and think about all the lies that we've been told and how our great great grandparents believed and our children are being taught lies in school and the pollution and the genocide and the vaccines and the GMOs and potentially chemtrails. So what are we all supposed to do? Slit our wrists? No, right. we want to get full of energy to be able to tackle this in the way we individually see fit. And one of the ways is laughter and happiness. It is a good motivator. Um, And if you want to be super dark and and do that too, that's awesome. Go for it. I'm a very big fan of everyone being allowed to do exactly what they want to do. Right. Later, we hand out the guns and the torches. Yes. Blow torches, I think. Yeah, see? (laughs) This, This is why we sometimes connect no but um you know zulu one says why well, hate and be sad it's a waste of energy right i'll agree with that i'll agree with that get a banjo start playing it <laughs> all right so intros i've got roxanne globusters and jaronism uh, who else has got decent intros that are out there the limitless channel the limitless channel mm. have you seen that one probably not i will look it up um okay we're going to move on from that move on. into the music aspect of flat earth and if flat earth didn't have an element of happiness to it as well as the darkness that we all know about we wouldn't have a music category although some of the songs are written about very very dark things of course but you know music is something that boosts you up when you're feeling down even sad music can fill you with emotion and help you deal with your own problems right um that's why there's so many sad songs so we move on to best cover song. Not best original cover song, song, but best cover. Best uh, song that was converted to be a flat earth, flat earth song, uh, like Rolling Stones, Painted Black, was changed to Painted Flat. Right, exactly. And um, last year, we had the Adele song, Hello, covered right. by Amber Plaster, right. I think, one. So... Um, anybody have an idea for what the song would be? Best um, cover I'm, song. I'm looking at you, Paul, on the plane. You've got the music channel. <laughs> exactly. And you sold for my playlist. I should actually <laughs> be, be chiming in on this, but I don't know how many have been done in the last year. But All there's right. a bunch we can choose from. I, I yeah, can go. Th- it's easy for us to look this up, but we wanted to get your opinion. Um, Scott Watts says, Mind Control by Major Tom. That was the year before, though. That was the year before. And it was nominated, as far as I remember. Right. Hey, gonna... Happy Ray says Sarge by Poncho. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yes, put that in. Oh, mm-hmm. all right. Now, that is a cover song. Well, yeah, but it, no, and, and I love it. Don't get me wrong. And mm-hmm. Poncho's going, why is he making that sound? No, no, I, I love the song. It's and I'm, st- The song Stan. I'm extremely flattered. I would just, I would just die, though, if there was an award given to a song that was made about me. Because I'd be but, handing um, out the freaking award. And if people the Mind it, Control like, song, Scott, was last year and was nominated. Right. Just so that we know we can't use it for this year. Stand Great by song. Poncho? Stand by Poncho. That's the, that's the song that he's renamed Sarge. 
Um, and that's the cover song. So best oh. cover song, tons of people are saying. And here's another one, Round and Curvy, the cover of Weird Al. Oh, right. The white and nerdy right, song. Right, right, right. Holy We've smoke. got two. We've got Sarge, the cover of Stan, and Round and Curvy, the cover of White and Nerdy. So those are two That's good covers for That's, this. I, you know, I completely forgot. That is such yeah. an excellent cover song. So many other great songs, like someone saying Jaren and Missa and et cetera, et cetera, um, that were fantastic. But we can't use them for this year because they were the previous year. Right. Okay, we'll look through the rest of the list on this. Okay. We got, we got but we've got idea. those two at this yeah. point, and they they fit the category well. Right. Next up, um, and, and that's Friend of Yahweh, the round and curvy one. So just so you know, um, the next one is best comedic song. And I'm going to say conspiracy music guru, Alex, uh, there's like a multitude of ones to choose from that are funny that he's right. got. We'll just pick one. Yeah. We're just going to put, um, conspiracy music guru. I'm going to, I'm going to put in a baby got flat. Although that's also, it's also cover. Who did baby got flat? I can't remember her name, but it's in there. Okay, put it down for cover then. Put instead of. Okay. Um, also, here's another cover. Globy Prison Blues by Wesley Stace and Flat Earth News Talk. <laughs> A number of people are saying conspiracy. Music guru Alex for the comedic song. We're going comedic song right now, right, by the way. Right, right, right. Oh, and Zane did Flat to the Bone. That was good. Yep. Mm -hmm. And that goes to cover song. It's also comedic, but the comedic category has got to kind of probably be an original. Right. All right. Um, maybe got flat being talked about. NASA's faking everything is another one. Uh, Paul on a plane has on his uh, FE MTV uh, channel a playlist, and he's put it as a link in the right. uh, in the live chat. So we'll go look at that later. Okay. Um, so, but we've got a couple right now. Okay. And, um, you know, like, for example, Plasos Platus is saying, you know, Flat Earth Man, which is Alex, the satellite hoax. That's original and comedic. So right. it fits for comedic song. Next up, female vocalist. Female that, vocalist. That is going to be a little tougher. It's going to be hard because we had Amber Plester last year, and I do not think that she's done anything this year. There are other women who do songs. I just can't think. We're, neither can I. So we're going to have to look those up. All right. And by the way, Test Vision has come into the chat and said, what's with them thumbs? There's an issue with YouTube and a whole bunch of trolls. So, you know, give it a thumbs up. They don't seem to be stink sticking. <laughs> all those people that are thumbs down in it, you can all have a big stick of gum. What kind of gum? I can't say because this is a family show. Exactly. Yeah. Um. All right, female vocalist, Amber Plaster. I mean, Bob of Globusters said she sang the opening song for Globusters, but it is also a cover song. We'll we'll look through. All right, we'll, we'll look through. We're, yeah, we're gonna we'll have to it. figure that out. But um, Bill Keith says she released two new songs that take on the world. All right. Oh, we'll take a look okay. At we'll look at that. Two new songs from Take on the World. Yeah, a couple of people are saying that that will be a place to look. We're just going to write Amber Pluster. She just had a baby, by the way, last week, I think. Um, next up, uh, male vocalist. Male vocalist. And by the way, somebody can win two award awards, by the way. Uh, they could win. It doesn't matter. It's, it's There's no rules on that. Um, male vocalist. Anybody uh, have anything? We've got Conspiracy Music Guru. Flat Earth Man. I should pop up my list. Your list of what? Well, I've got I've got a, I have a playlist in my uh, in my channel. I collect Flat Earth music. Oh. It's where it's where Fe TV you know got quite a bit of its stuff. I've just been collecting <laughs> it over the years. Walter Williams says YouTube gimps are working overtime. It's back to just one thumbs up. <laughs> nice. How crazy is that? But I've seen it happen. I've seen it happen on uh, Roxanne's channel too. Um, so whatever, it's fine. Um, uh, Zulu one is saying ODD for male vocalists. All right. ODD. That sounds about right. Yep. Uh, oh, Tyne you know, oh my God. I completely forgot about her. Who? Who? Female vo vocalist. 
Jade Nova. Oh, and another really good vocalist would be Zoe Be Here in Love, but she doesn't really do anything uh, she, that much. She's got such a good voice, though. Anyway. Yeah, oh, ODD from for for male. We'll definitely have him in there. Yes, yes. Um, somebody says Marcel Moulinar. Is that ringing any bells? Teen Eldridge is saying male vocal, Marcel Moulinars. I have no idea who that is. Clear it up for me, Teen Eldridge. Wesley says there's eight thumbs up. <laughs> Crazy. There's more right. people in the I chat. Will, we, we will look through. We will. We will. Through, we will. We'll, we'll, we'll punch through some of these. All right. We'll figure right, that so, out. And then, and then, of course, the big one is best music video. And oh, you know, by the way, Pancho Pete is also a singer. As well as Zane for male vocalists. So let's put Poncho and Zane. Zane. Yeah. Poncho. And you Issa. Poncho oh my gosh. Poncho can carry a tune. Yeah. Oh, he's, oh yeah. yeah, he's great. But um also uh oh um by the way, Gathica G says Marcel is on Pete's channel. Poncho Pete's? Don't know uh who that is. Um um something else. Something else uh, was just said and I missed it. Um, mm -hmm. luckily for me, most of my videos for music were added. I add them and I don't, I, they're added chronologically unless they're, I really, really like them. Then I'll bump them up to the top. So we can see a lot of the stuff that's been made in the last calendar year. What about rolling ready? <laughs> Did Does he, he sing a song? Yeah. But no, <laughs> but no, <yeah. laughs> no, and that all hasn't been released yet. So. No. Um. All right. All right. So I've and got. And you know, for... Jaren has sung too, and Missa, but we'll go through all that later. Okay. So best so, music. Oh yeah, it was or... Isa. Oh, we already had. We have Isa down here. Thank you to um Chocolate Saiyan for that. Uh, we've got Isa down for best male vocalist. Okay, we're gonna move on. Here we go. Seriously, the music, the overall music video, uh, you know, it's, it's usually come, you know, it comes out of the high production jobs, and there's two big ones that stick out. Of course, one is Conspiracy and Music Guru, and the other is Round and Curvy. Yeah, those are the ones that seem to get the most votes, which doesn't lessen the work of anybody else. By the way, no. this isn't about you're good and you're not good. This is just about fun, just right. about being nice. That's it. Right. Don't take it seriously. I'm, I'm also going to throw in uh, Jade Nova. But if you don't win, you're a loser. <laughs> because she is, she did a, a fantastic, you know, it's, it's, it was shot very, very well. I don't know if you remember that one. Mm, no, yeah. I don't. If you, guys haven't, yeah, if you guys haven't checked it out, check out Jade Nova. Okay. She, I know I have. I just can't recall. There's just too much to retain in your head. You know? I was going after the the female version of B.O.B.'s Flatline album. Interesting. Oh, I remember now. I completely remember. Now you remember. No, yes, I'm talking. I they remember. shot that on the on the cliffs of California. Right. Yeah. Very true. Yeah. All right. So uh, up next is... Um, Miss Steffi. Uh, did we do best music video? Yes, we just did okay, that. Okay, sorry. Whew. No, it's okay. Um, you should see the paper I'm working with here. I, I don't even know why you're right. <laughs> like, it's... did I write this while drunk? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> and yet she got good grades in school. Figure that one out, folks. Uh, well, you know, this is a mess. Okay, up next. <laughs> oh, most I myth... forgot to do my paper. No, I never did that. I did other people's papers, actually. Oh, I was really? the one helping other people. Really? You're going to lie to make friends? No, That's what's no. happening here? It's true. It's true. I was very good at creative writing. Very good at doing reports. So, up next. <laughs> what? I'm going to write a report say, on you. I'm sorry, I'm not Stein. buying it. But, but go ahead. <laughs> but go ahead. Missed, uh, missed Effie. Most, most missed flat earther. Who's gone Somebody. this year? Who is, who is gone? And this is going to take a little while for you guys. I'm going to put someone's name in there. Archer Sage. Archer Sage. Archer Sage. You? That'll get everyone on the right track. Who who, who has taken the sidelines um, uh, in this year and w would love to come back? Paul, um, Paul Chief. The Scarecrow. Paul yeah. Chief. Oh, my God. Paul Chief. Woo. 
But Paul Chief has taken the sidelines for the past two years. Does he count? That's a new award. Yeah, let's 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 put him in there. All right, all right. Brian um, Brian Mullen. <laughs> oh my gosh! That, and by the way, that should be the first thing we all think of. Where yeah. <laughs> see, that's why we're not. It's impossible to do this. You know, it, we'll all yeah. miss somebody. That's why we need the group to help out. And even then, we're going to get some of it wrong, and we roll with it. Tiger Dan's his own award. Just so uh, Paul Chief, Archer Sage, Brian Mullen. Wait, um, Nathan, I, Nathan Oakley says Aaron Dover. I write that wait, down. is Aaron Dover? Uh, is he missed? Is he no? Is he he's alive, right? People say he's alive, and some he's, say is he he's alive? dead, and some say he was murdered. I mean, no one. Who knows? All right, as long as he's not murdered, he goes in the list. Oh, uh, you know, light uh, up the earth says Matrix Decode. Matrix Decode. Mm hmm. Another one. Oh, and by the way, people are saying Archer Sage was a globe believer, not a flat earther. But I spoke with him. He was a really cool guy. So I'm putting his name in here. And unless somebody wants to email me something differently, we're going to have his name here. Pon Poncho Pete says, my perspective, Rory Cooper. No, Rory Cooper is actually still out there. He is, but yeah, maybe he, he left his, again. His, his channel's back. Did he leave again? Uh, yeah, did somebody, can we get a confirmation on that? I think he's still back. I mean, I see his videos every once in a while. They they keep popping in there. Right, me too. So, yeah, Brian Mullen, Brian Mullen, Jed Skeptic. Uh, um. <laughs> <laughs> Good poker face. Nice. Rory well, Cooper. I mean, yeah, some yeah, of yeah. the people that I've not commented on, other people have commented on. Sure. Um, I... I don't have an opinion that would need to be aired on a video about people like that. And right. I'm not against him at all, but he's not a flat earther. It doesn't belong in this right, category. Right. You know, he's yeah, Rory, a really fine guy otherwise and Rory, a fellow redhead. Yeah. Rory's back. So we don't have to worry. So Rory's about back. Okay. Uh, somebody else said something else. I got to scroll up here. It was something good. Um, Daryl Fox. <laughs> Dare, I interviewed Daryl Fox. It was the one video I did quite a while ago where he was in a car speeding down the road. It was my first and only drive-by video. So it's somewhere on my channel. J Jake was mentioned. Uh, I think he's still around. Yeah. Yeah, he still makes videos. They, they, they can't... They made content last year and they're not making content right mm -hmm. now. So we have Daryl Fox. We wrote him down. Yeah, Rory... Rory hey... Poncho, are you even listening? Are you just like <laughs> typing in chat and then like have music playing so you can't hear us? Okay, Rory my Cooper per, is My back. perspective is gone unless, or he's back unless you think he's gone again. Right. So everyone let us know if he's gone. We don't know. Don't think so. Who knows? Uh, uh, somebody else's name was just mentioned and I can't. Uh... Jake is not a ball earther now. No. You don't, you don't leave the agency. You don't oh, Ashley Webster. Um, Globusters. Yeah, she did experiments. She recently friended me on Facebook in the past couple of months, so she's still around. Who is, who is the other girl? Put Ashley Webster down. Is she who I think she is? She did a lot of experiments very early on. Uh, yeah, this, um, this one is some people are saying Russian bids. We're gonna. It's gonna be the toughest one to mail because we're gonna have to find them. Yeah. Um, no, who was the uh, the woman that was supposed to speak, the younger brunette who was supposed to speak at the conference last year? Oh. And she shut down her Facebook. Yeah, chat. some things with her family and stuff like that. Right. Well, I mean, it's peer pressure, plain and simple. Yeah. I don't remember her name, but I was on one hangout with her, so I can't recall. Yeah. Somebody will mention it. Amy Denise. Ah, that was her name. Amy Denise. I knew I'd remember it eventually. Stars are souls. Oh, wow. Stars are souls. That's who yeah. I first started doing videos with. People say, Mark Sargent introduced Patricia to Flat Earth. No, he didn't. No, stars I did are uh, souls. several videos on my own, on my own channel, and paired up with Stars are Souls until right. I ended up uh, interviewing oh. Mark. <laughs> and then I it all went say, downhill. Yes, but there you go. <laughs> I was waiting for it. <laughs> if Mark and I had never come together and started doing a Wednesday show together, you know, I wonder if I would have ever got as much hate. Hmm. But I wonder if you would have got as much you hate if you it. hadn't teamed up with me. Lots of people <laughs> do. Rob Skiba has slides dedicated to this fact. Mm -hmm. How Mark Surgeon screwed everything up. Awesome. Yeah, really in a good great. way. In a good yeah. way. National Geographic is going to point at me directly. I guarantee it. 
say, how could you let this happen to the world? The streets I am are I'm happy that I met you and started doing videos with you. And before I asked to interview you, I actually reached out to Eric Dubay first, who said, yeah, you're doing really good videos with Stars or Souls. I like what you're doing. I'll think about it and get back to you. And in the meantime, I thought, well, I want to interview somebody. How about the guy whose videos I saw first, Mark Sargent? Wow, Emailed really? you. This you said yes, and then I interviewed you, and then you interviewed me on your Strange World, and then Eric Dubay's like, unfriend, <laughs> make a bunch of hit piece videos on so me. So Eric was first, sister. and then it's like, well, I got to get somebody. So Mark, so okay, here, here was my ego no, right here. Oh no, so it was right well, up here. I bought all now of it. it's 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 down. So it's about here. I found you video wise before Eric, but he was a Facebook friend because of veganism. So that's right. how that happened. Right. But it, how it worked out is that the guy who's the most open, willing to say yes to everything and the kindest to others is you. Oh. And I'm very happy with the fact that of the three mm, OG flat earthers, we all know who they are. You're the one that I paired up with in a friendship fashion. The only OG status I really have is original gamer. <laughs> well, you know what I'm saying. Pac-Man represent. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, <laughs> let's let's go to my favorite category. Are, which... are, are, we're done with the we're done with that one though. Miss right? Effies, yeah, we're we're good. Okay. Uh, let's do. Mark, does it ever go below your shoulder? <laughs> nice. It's good. Okay. Um, troll. Who's yes. the who? Troll. Who do you think? And and you guys can. Oh, I'm sure troll. you guys have an opinion on this. Who was the finest troll of the year? Hmm. Who ticked you off more than anyone All on right. a regular basis? Let's hear it. Well, we've got That's Awake gonna... Souls listed. <laughs> P Mars listed. Isn't there a delay? What do you mean by a delay? Oh, I thought there was like a delay between when we talk and when the. Uh, isn't there like a five or six second delay? I don't think so. Why? Yeah, I always thought there was. Wasn't I don't there know one? why you're saying that. Really? Am I Did lost? Didn't you ever notice? There was all. There's always a delay between Hangout and uh, the video feed. Oh. oh. Always. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Um, right, there's so a guy named George. Yeah. I forgot George's last name, but he's the one that is um, given credit for contacting Brian Mullen's employers. Whether or not that's true, I'll let oh, you right, decide. Right, right. I don't know George's name. last name, but no. somebody will throw it in the chat. Reset MGTV. Reset. Uh, <laughs> what? Awake, Awake Souls 2 says me. <laughs> yeah. Reds. At least Reds. you're honest about trolling. Uh, hey, but points you know, for honesty. Thanks for the 75 thumbs down, you and your yeah. accounts. Um, <laughs> Reds, Reds Rhetoric, uh, of course, ah. Osman. Uh, Chocolate Saiyan says George H N. A I T U K. I don't even know how to pronounce it. George H N A T I U K. Simon Dan, because he's gotten a whole bunch of. Is he a troll? We, we don't even know if he's where he got all these subs. He, he passed me a couple days um, ago. P Mars got nominated. Star Gods got nominated. Oh, somebody nominated all the reset channels. <laughs> Uh, Chris Tover says George is just an a hole, not a troll. Hmm. Yeah, there's a difference. There's a difference because he he doesn't make you got to make videos against flat Earth. Going behind our back, that's a whole nother thing. That's a whole nother level of making videos about other people. Right, the rumpus. The rumpus. Uh, Cody's lab. Yeah, Cody's labs last year. Sorry. Um, the last name H N A T I U K is pronounced. Nut check. Oh, who's that kid that got that haircut? <laughs> He's like 25, big eyes. Oh, and... he, oh, yeah, that guy, dark hair. Yeah, I'm glad he got his hair. It was like, cut his hair. That hair was driving me insane. And then it's like, oh, well, now. Um, I don't know who that is. I forgot that person's name. So, Rumpus is, is in the running, as is uh, P. Mars. And I got to say, Tim Osman. Yep, of course. Tim Osman, the guy who lives in Denver, that one. This is yeah, what we're talking the guy about. that the guy that has sniped more channels than just about anyone. Yeah, so let's throw that in there too. Oh, definitely. Uh, John Lebon hasn't been doing much this year, but it's a nice idea, Pancho. I think he did a video. Somebody emailed me the other day and said he's doing a video about the moon now. Can't believe he's still making videos. What that he doesn't believe in dinosaur fossils on the moon? Is that what <laughs> he's he's doing now? Uh, Sorry, yeah. I had to take that shot. 
And and I got to mention, you and I have talked about this briefly, that uh, John Laban, he was the one that got me in trouble with the Trailer Park Boys. Oh, right. Because he did, he took See, my, that's trolling in a way. But he didn't mean to. That well, was then, the then weird that, part. Then that doesn't count. It doesn't really count. He was the one that took my video and did a narrative on my video. They struck me and they struck him, but because he yelled at them, he they came back at me and wouldn't even talk to me about it. And so I had to do an appeal. I did a, um, a fair use and I won, but it was John LeBond's fault. Well, I do want to let everyone know that I make a policy of not pointing fingers and naming names, but because I name certain people as trolls that you have nominated, that is not in any way going against my belief system of you not calling uh, people out because, you know, I'm not the, I'm not the judge and jury of Flat Earth. I didn't mean to, um, yeah, Professor Stick, mm, good one. That is a good one. Kent Hovind is a good one. Wow. Uh, um, the, the name of the person is H... I I T H with the hair. Heath? Hmm. Heath? I don't even know he how to say it. Somebody somebody says, Whatever happened to Flat Earth Math? Yeah, oh he's around. Is he? Yes, he's around. Uh-huh. I trolled. I was an atheist dominion. I was not trolling, by the way, atheist dominion, and thank you for coming in. I was that's my rubber stamp that I put yeah, on, Mark on goes videos. Yeah, around and leaves a comment uh, like thank that, you. Tro trolling you. trolling in my opinion is saying negative things. I just go in and say, you know what? I like Flat Earth. I never, ever attack anybody on anybody's channel. Mm -hmm. I just say, Flat Earth, like it, you should too. Mm -hmm. And then I go away. But if you want to count it as trolling, that's fine. But it's my version of trolling. It's just rubber stamp. Right. Um, Plain Permaculture is saying Greater Sapien. I don't know if he's trolling mm -hmm. Flat Earth. He's, he's trolling making the videos or is trolling going into chats or making comments? And comments his, is, his is more of a modular debate. Where he's debating people Logic. without without debating, meaning it's like, okay, I'm going to take D Marble's video and I'm going to give counterpoints. It's not like he's just going in and you know making a video saying D Marble's awful, terrible, blah blah blah. You know, he's he tries to he tries. So, yeah, I know right. greater. Yeah, 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 greater sapient. No, there's there's worse out there than greater. Yeah, Sapien. I mean, Honestly. I would say that if, uh, Tim Osman, the original troll. Not the person who knew went by IPS that called himself Tim Osman. We're talking about Tim Osman, Tim Osman, is the is Benjamin. what we're talking about with the trolling. Who, yeah, yeah. I mean, but he takes he over already, a chat and he he, he even snipe. broke the rules of trolldom. He right. showed up at meetups. Yeah, know, one, was, one. And, and and actively, I don't, and he I don't was know. Supposedly, kind of a nice guy, according to those who met him. Hmm. I mean, we could say that who trolled us would be Lord, Lord Stephen Christ, but yeah, yeah but, uh, that, but what's he, his name? Um, but he hadn't done much this year. Hadn't done much. That's good English. The, uh, <laughs> well, I can't think of the guy's much. name now. Um, we gave him an award for best anti flat Earth rant last year. Why oh, can't I think of his name? Oh, who won that? Um, young guy. He does all these weird videos. He pretended to be my friend and oh, pretended to be a flat Earther. Yeah, we're gonna have, have to look guess. that up. I can't think of the guy's name, but everyone knows who we're talking about. And if you don't, it doesn't really matter. Throw it in yeah, the chat. Yeah. And by the way, I do agree in the chat that uh, Tim Osmond does go way yeah, with porn the, bombing. The, but the, the pale. other people have taken up the porn bombing, too. Well, yeah, people steal ideas. It's like, oh, yeah, let's do that. It's, yeah, by the way, just, just a tip for you guys out there. Never put your link in chat. Ever, ever, ever. Don't do it. You just, just, I mean, look at, look at Nicole Cote taken down yeah. three months. Right. With, like with porn. Uh, Nathan Oakley's and uh, Bob are saying Omniaris. Yes. Omniaris. He, yeah. But he hadn't done, he was last year. Yeah. He, he did a lot of trolling. And, He's so know. last year. Yes. I did. did that for him. That, that little, <laughs> um, all right. Okay, so we've got on. a lot of nominations. Yeah. We'll, we'll find somebody, you know, the yes. favorite, I hate to say this, you know, my favorite is on that favorite list already troll. is Who? Ken Hoven. Is that a troll? He has a belief. But sometimes it's as if he's trolling. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, you know what? You well, know the what? same as uh, people see sometimes as IPS is now. Right, right, right. You know what? Uh, but IPS is a brilliant guy with lots of Usually, I don't think Kent, Kent Hovind is, can but be. But he also has a dark side, right. which we didn't know about in the beginning, but we found out. So anyway, whatever. Okay. Um, and you know what? He's got this thing where he has people come in and make comments that say dome exit. 
and they do it on channels that they assume are dome channels. They think this channel is a dome channel. This channel is run by me, nobody but me. Even if I've got Mark on on a Wednesday and interview other people, my opinion is that yes, there could be a container, a firmament or a dome, or there could be more land, or there could be puddles. I don't know. This channel, which is me, doesn't have an opinion that there is a dome, that it's made out of glass or sapphire or whatever. Right. My opinion is, I don't know. I just know we don't live on a ball. And I call that flat earth. Is the earth flat? No, we've got mountains and valleys and all of that. We're all trying to figure out where we live, but we know we've been lied to. That's the opinion of this channel. So coming here and saying, dome exit, Patricia's a domer, you're wrong. Or coming in here and saying, Patricia's pushing a Christian agenda. No, I'm not. Some of my guests are Christians. Some of them aren't. This channel is kind of open with the underlying belief that we do not live on a globe. That's it. So, uh, all right then. <laughs> that that monologue sponsored by Metatron. <laughs> um, Laser test pistols. <laughs> LLC. Um, Check out the temperature of the moon. Sixty-six dollars and. Six hundred sixty-six dollars and thirty-three cents. Yeah. By now, um, the couple. next one is couple flat Earth couple. I'm going to nominate flat Earth vegans. Flat Earth vegans. The best flat Earth couple. They're so nice. The prom king and queen. It's really nice. All right, who else? Uh, who else is a good couple? Oh, a, an, another troll, David Quintana. That we need to put. David Quintana. Yes. It. He does porn bombing too. From what I've heard, I could be wrong. Okay. Best flat earth couple. We've, we've moved on. Okay. Flat earth vegans. Flat earth, couple. Flat earth uh, vegans. Um, Bob and Cammy, nominated by flat earth vegans. Cammy. What about Pete and Peter? Pete and Peter. Uh huh. Um, Matt and Katie. Matt and Katie. Yeah. I mean, they had a kid. They're a couple, all right. Yep. So Bob and Cammie, Matt and Katie. Yeah. Uh, oh, and Peter and Pete. We already said that. Yep. Uh, was uh, Peter and – you have to forgive me. Uh, the uh, the Flat Earth Brothers. Uh, uh, Paul and Paul? No, I don't – I don't know. No, wait. Who are the Flat Earth Brothers? I'm going to put Flat Earth Brothers. i got to figure out who they are. yeah. We've got a couple of uh, Nathan Oakley says Ronnie and Jason. <laughs> oh, uh, Roxanne and um, uh, what's crap. his name? Oh man, now I'm going to offend her. I just put a question mark. We know it's just too hard to think on the Roxanne them on there. and yeah, we know who that is. Not not their not the not the not her on screen. That is me. Yeah, she's doing a show with a guy, and I can't think of his name right, right now. Right, right, right. Um. Dwight L says, "You and I, Mark." Oh, that's that's so nice, but but we can't win anything. We we can't win anything. We can't give awards to ourselves. That'd be weird. Um, the agency oh, forbids it. Oh, D I T R H and Page. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, what else? I'm scrolling up. Um. Now, giving porn bombers an award, yeah, that is a risky proposition. Oh, but I know. I know. We're not well, encouraging well, it yeah. uh, or trolling at all, but we know they're here, and it's kind of a tongue-in-cheek kind of award. Right. So, uh, like I said, this is all in fun. Yeah, Zulu, Zulu One and Shauna Collins. Okay, one, you're married, Zulu, and two, you probably shouldn't be saying that in chat. <laughs> and you shouldn't be reading it out loud and perpetuating that. Sean's oh no, like I'm, I'm hoping his wife is listening in the background. It's like, what? What's happening here? Um, Rand flat out elected says anyone who does anti flat earth videos in the form of mocking is a troll. You know, you, you got that right. Richard Lopez, that's who it is. Thank you, Bob of Globusters. That's who Roxanne does shows with. Richard Lopez. Got it. All right. Anyone else? Best flat earth couple. Zulu one says uh, Sean is married too. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. That's the first I've heard of this. I didn't know. Sean married? I didn't know. I used to think her name was Sienna, just in, or Sienna, and not what I, until I figured it out the other day. Really? Did you? 
What about Sade? Did you pronounce it? Oh, Spain? I love Sade. You know, Sade's music is old, I know. It was in the 80s and maybe before. But if I happen to hear it, if I'm in a store or somewhere, it's never depressing. It stood the test of time. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, Randa Flat Out Electa says, if you do not deliver a message in love, it cannot be received. You know, in many ways, in all ways, and I agree with that. Um, Matt, Matt Long and Jessica Faith. Yeah. Yes, Matt Long and Jessica oh, Faith. Oh, okay. Yeah, put the you, Bob. On the horse there. Yeah, they're going to win an award. Yeah, talk about the well, curse Jessica's right there. Jessica's going to be on my show tomorrow so, with Summer Lowe and her sister, and everyone can meet them. So, And that'll be 6 p.m. Eastern on September 27, 2018. So you know how that would go, right? Right. Mm. We do the award and yeah. we hand it out and they would break up mere hours before the award would be there. Yeah, you're just you're just cursing them. You're jinxing them. No baseball coach in the world would ever allow you to do that award. Well, so they have to be a married couple? Is that the No, rule? no, I'm saying you don't call it before it's happened. Oh. Oh no, they're a couple. <sighs> they're a real couple. She's my Facebook friend. And there's yeah. pictures of him at her house and they're together. They're a couple. What he's got you know, we probably shouldn't be talking about this on air right now. Well, she has it on her Facebook and her Facebook. Well, no, I mean, is is he? I didn't know. He's he's been going up there since the conference. Yeah. Oh, it, I didn't know. It's that. a solid deal. Oh, oh, yeah. I thought it. I thought yeah. it was all boiling down to the conference. I thought they met in. in no, no, they've in, been. They met in person, and the families have met, and it's fantastic. Oh, all right. All right. All right. See. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I I did not know this. <laughs> yeah. Um, da, da, da. Uh, metal dog ride says smooth operator. Yeah, Karen B okay. and her gun. I <laughs> love it, Bill. <laughs> I like it. Um, bling I, bling, the BS of the ISS says Hori and Zelda. I don't know. Is Zelda one of the dancing girls that that's got to be? Maybe? Yeah, it's got to be one of the dancing, All right? Girls. Okay, let's move on. We've got still best four, flat earth radio show, four more. Uh, um, I nominate Paul on the plane Paul on the plane. Um, TFR. We would yeah, nominate yeah. Strange World by Mark Sargent, but we can't but because we can't. We can't. Uh, I'm going to nominate uh, the Flat Earth Podcast. D-I-T-R-H. Yeah. And uh, sometimes yeah. Matt Long, sometimes Curious J. Right. Um, um, then uh, Rob Skiba on TFR. Yes. Perfect. Aaronism from TFR. Uh, Zen Garcia. Oh, yeah. We'll be at the conference. TFR. And... Um, um, uh, bling bling the BS of the ISS says Karen and Astro. Crow triple seven. I didn't know they were a couple. Bling Who's bling. Astro? Sorry. You mean Astral, A-S-T-R-A-L? I think they're, they might be Astro, a couple. Astro the dog? Does she have a dog named Astro? No, seriously. <laughs> no, I mean, like we Astral already said the gun. I, mean, we, I, would, <laughs> I don't know. Me. I didn't know they were a couple. Crow triple seven. Yep. Got him. Mm -hmm. TFR. There's so much flat earth on TFR. Uh, yep. Zen Garcia. Got him. Poncho is actually trolling the trolls in chat. That's nice. Okay, I think we've we've got a good idea what to hit there. And let's see, I'm doing something here. By the way, if you feel that I've taken away your mod status, it's on, uh, because I clear mods out and start over again. So if you have had your wrench removed, unless you did something crazy, it's only because I clear them out and start over again, and then I forget and don't give them all back. But it's only a, an accident. All right, we have two, one left. No, actually, two left. All right. Uh, uh, three. Compilation. Right. Compilation. Okay, um, oh, yeah, compilation. You're going to have to explain that to people who don't understand. Oh, okay, compilation. No, we, we explained it in the beginning, but I'll it's explain true. it again, and that is... Uh, and that is everyone knows that when flat earthers get into the community, there's everyone chops up other people's videos and takes segments from here and there and they make uh, a compilation video and then maybe they put their own narrative over it. Maybe they don't. Uh, and there's a lot of them out there. So any compilations that you've seen over the last year that 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 struck you? 
It's like, oh yeah, great compilation. I mean, I know I've said great compilation on all sorts of stuff that I've run into. So throw them out there. Whatever right. you guys can. The guy with the big head on TFR. Yeah, no. Funny, Zulu. That's great. Yeah, that radio show by that. By that, that guy. Mm. Gathaka, the sea eagle. That name. <laughs> Isn't that great? It's a great name. Well, what is it? I have no idea. Typing. Uh, Hibbler videos. Yes. Excellent. Okay, good. Christopher. Hibbler. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's a good one. Uh, Shane. Uh, okay. Flat Earth Crush says Flat Earth Brothers. Flat Earth Brothers. Uh, so Hibbler, Brawny to Brawny. Flat Earth Why It Matters. That one was reproduced a whole bunch of times. Mm -hmm. Flat Earth Why It Matters. That was a compilation. Uh, yep, yep. Scrying to Brawny, flat, flat Earth Why It Matters. Yep. Say, uh, Gathaka the Sea Eagle, explain your name. I like it. It's compelling. It reminds me of Jonathan... Livingston Seagull, but like Seagull. much more serious. Uh, All right. Uh, Tetris Truth Babe? Does she do a compilation? I don't even know who that Tetris is. Tetris Truth Babe. We'll look it up. By the way, WW Ocean says, I think you should have best flat earth personality, male and female, so people can vote for their favorites of the year. I like it. Renee Calusia. Renee Calusia is in our chat. He's going to be doing an event, uh, the Flat Earth Nation channel, October 13th, Sunset Beach. He's going to have Mad Mike there. So that's cool. Anybody else with an idea of um, compilation video? Or a, I, I could actually. We will look into I'll, more. I, I this, will throw a lot more out we're there. We're going to take everything you've said, and then when there's right. the categories we didn't get that many on, we'll go look around. A uh, lifetime achievement award. Yes, lifetime achievement. Body of work. Who has done just a sheer mass of content? Hours and hours and hours of video uh, that you can think of. Paul on the plane. He's done yep. a lot of good stuff. Paul on the plane is perfect. Um, Pancho Pete. Pancho Pete. Lord knows the man has done a body of work. He certainly has. I mean, thousands of hours. <laughs> oh, oh, um, Rob Skiba. Rob Skiba. Argyle. Flat out elected. Robbie Davidson. Wow. Jaron. How about everybody? <laughs> Yeah. I mean, everybody. All right. All right. We, uh, yeah. Anybody else? Uh, We've got those same names yeah, coming yeah. Glo over. Yep, Globusters, of course. Globusters and Pancho Pete. Mm -hmm. Jaronism, Morgal. Marble. Nathan Oakley. He's been here from the start. Like Tim. Oh, <laughs> D Marble. Yep. Do we have him yet? Oh, don't worry about that, Mark Sargent guy. He's. Oh, by the way, Gathaka the Sea Eagle has responded and said, it's my Aboriginal adopted name from Northeast Arnhem Land, Australia, Galpo Clan. Come to Sun and Moon family the next Monday and most will be revealed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. On that segue, let's transition over to uh, the last one, and then we'll call it good, which is uh, the Junior Award. Yeah, the Junior Award. Those under the age of 18. Oh, you know, Ginger Sugarbush says most missed Croatian girl. <laughs> uh, yeah. But she was from the previous year. She's been gone over a year. She's been gone a long time. Our daughter. Which, yes. if you don't know, it's one of those things in Flat Earth that somebody accused uh, Mark and I. Uh, it's uh, a rumor, <laughs> mostly. How, how you how you say? And, uh, and, and fuel was thrown in the fire of that rumor when I interviewed her. She was under under the age of eighteen, um, and lived in Croatia. When we were doing a, a show a long time ago, it's not on my channel anymore, and, it's in, and I'll tell you why in a second. And during the show, bad connection during part of it. I she was talking about how her father had. Um, found out he was into chemtrails and other conspiracies and got his daughter, you know, Croatian girl into it. And she was talking about how her father had found Mark Sargent. And um, 
the, the connection broke up. And so I rephrased the question kind of like, well, what were you saying about Mark Sargent, your father? Well, someone picked up on that and thought I was accidentally revealing that her father was Mark Sargent. Crazy. And then later she got out of flat earth, although she's still a flat earther. She just, because she was young, the hassle got to her, the uh, trolling, et cetera. So she asked me to remove the video. And because of her age and the sensitivity of that being a girl and issues, I did take her video down. And that only fueled the conspiracy that it really is Mark Sargent and my daughter. So sometimes we do really bad Croatian accents and pretend she is uh, she is not currently an employee of the, the KGB <laughs> nor is she part of the socialist republic. I miss it so much. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So <laughs> now you're now you know. <laughs> now you know the rest of the story. Okay, Junior Award. Junior um, Award. Uh, what well, Dina Walker, Zulu one is saying most missed flat earther. We missed out on that. But she does come back occasionally into the live chats. Right. And she also comments on the videos. These are the ones too. we're trying to drag back. So she's still around. She's right. still around. Um, okay, so. Um, flat Earth Teen. Flat Earth Teens, yes, for Junior Award. Summer Lowen, who will be my guest tomorrow Summer at 6 p.m. Eastern on the 28th of September, 27th of that, September. L O E N? L O W E N, I think. L O W E N, Lowen. Summer Lowen, got it. Mm -hmm. Um, isn't that Dome Skies No Lies, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, also, Jaron Nodal for best technical support in the junior category. <laughs> well, he does a lot of stuff. Oh, don't get me wrong. He's dorkalicious. And we met him in person, too. And I made him a mod on this chat. Where is he? <laughs> yeah, that, 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 that kid's got audiovisual written all over him. He is going to be stuck carrying girls' bags home. Yeah. Well, yeah. he'll find the right nerdette for him, I'm sure. No, yeah, no. He's going to be a slave to some cheerleader <laughs> at some point. All right. So, uh, yeah. Anybody else for anyone else for anybody in the junior division teams, junior division, et cetera? Kids that are out there. I mean, no, I know there's a whole bunch of kids that are responding to like Shane's video and stuff like that. Right. But, Shane's uh, video has definitely spawned so many uh, face um, Facebook, so many people to look into. Oh yeah. The, the truth of the shape of our world. Yeah. Uh, Shane Dawson's video under the. Uh, the channel Shane. He's got a couple channels. Right. Oh, um, yeah, and his brother, too. Um, Jared. Jared uh, did a video with um, a couple of other people and came to Los Angeles when we were there and right. has filmed a, a documentary, which we really weren't telling you what was exactly happening with that because we didn't know, but they came out with a teaser for the documentary. Yeah. And it will be coming out soon. And we'll let you know. We'll share it when we, when we get it. It covers uh, meetups and people in Flat Earth, and it's cool. Right. So, um, all right, Flat Earth teens, we've got that. Um, I think that's it. Yeah. That's and a, uh, if there's something that we have not uh, got to, and you're watching this at a later time, because you know this is live now, but you might watch this later, um, you can put it as a comment in the comment section of this video, or you can also email me. And that is Miss, M-I-S-S, Steer, S-T-E-E-R-E, -E -E, at gmail.com. Um, my email address and contact information is in the description box of every video. So. And if, if you want to email me, yeah. don't. Sergeant 23 at Comcast.net. You'll receive Really? I say don't. You just, <laughs> you just throw it out there. You just well, on autopilot. You, I said you'll receive no response. <laughs> Do hesitate to call. All right. Um, a couple of people are saying they missed Carly Sunshine. She's still around. She's not as participatory in things, uh, but she is on Facebook quite a lot too, and she's still fine. Um, and so, like I said, Summer Lowen is uh, uh, going to be on as my guest tomorrow with her sister, and that's going to be kind of junior division category stuff happening, and uh, that'll be fun. Okay. That's it for the show. Is there anything we need to discuss that we didn't, that we want to touch on that's not involving the Flatty Awards, which are, by the way, happening live on stage in Denver, and everyone will get a, a little actual trophy. A couple quick things. With your name on it. That win. One, 
one of course we didn't actually mention the conference and that is we're doing this at the flatties award which is at the denver conference in november mm -hmm. november to remember in denver it's gonna be fun yeah so go to fe2018.com to check out all the fun stuff there the documentary got to mention that it's going to be coming out they do have a distributor and i would imagine if that distributor is on its game they will have it released for the holiday season Brace yourselves. <laughs> and I do want to say uh, the documentary, uh, when we all who participated in it were asked to participate in it, we were told that it would be a fair representation of the flat earth community. But it was done by people who believe in the globe, although they don't hate flat earthers. Right. Uh, they did a pretty OK job. But in the end, they named it something I didn't uh, approve of. None of us had the uh, the option of approving what was going to go into the film. We never right. saw any uh, uh, teasers from it. We never saw what the name was going to be. We weren't told that there was going to be a scientist in it and an astronaut. All of that was revealed to us just like it will be to you when you watch it live and you'll right, be right, right. Uh, maybe maybe upset, maybe amused, maybe both. But the thing is, is that it is what I hate the expression. It is what it is, but it is what it is. It's out there. Right. And um, the director is a person who did it to make money for himself. Let's be real. That's what sure. all mainstream media does. The newspaper articles that are written, the magazines, uh, etc. They all are doing it to make money. And their opinion, most of them is that the earth is a globe. And so what else are they going to show? Right. Um, the thing is, is that the victory that we want with a documentary that shows that flat earth is the truth will come. Oh. That documentary was only the start. Right. It happened. There's there are, as There's you know, be more. a bunch. There was one documentary team. I'll just call them Doc. One Doc team that followed us during the conference last year. As far as I know, there are four that are already planning on doing it this year. Because, as you know, with 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 anything in mainstream media, they all play off of each other. They all look at it and say, "Oh, I can totally do this better than that," or "I think I've got a, an angle that'll play better." Uh, we'll see. So, but also, with most documentaries, we have almost, we have no creative control over these yeah, things. Yeah, and we don't get so. to see it until we get to see it. No, um, yeah, and, well, I wasn't know, in the editing in, room. In, in it, all of us who are in it, um, including myself, we all got uh, made fun of. Sure. Mark did, I did, everyone in it. Yeah. We didn't know that till we saw it. And that's right. the way it goes. However, we do have a, one person in the chat who said it's a mockumentary. Well, even if Flat Earth may have been mocked, during it occasionally a mockumentary is an actual real thing which wasn't this film a mockumentary right. has a cast of all actors and they're right. all using names that aren't their own it's not about real events either right. best and best in show Borat. Uh, uh, that's yeah, a Borat. real mockumentary. that's a that's a mockumentary mockumentary yeah. is professional actors taking a serious yes. subject and doing everything yes. tongue-in-cheek not also by the way to be confused with a docufiction right which is much more rare which is actors that play it absolutely straight Nobody mugs the camera. Nobody does anything. Right. This, this was is, a real documentary. This is a real documentary. Look, it was an and you and I disagreed on some points. Look, it was an honest look at what was happening in 2017. Yes, and they did put their spin on some of it to take little sure. digs, but that's because they're globe earthers. Yeah. So it's a documentary with a spin, a slant from globe earthers to it. Right. Did it? Did experiments get muffed? Yes, they yes, did. But did that's not because of the documentary. It's no. that's what happened last. Yeah. Year. Did Did we have infighting? Uh, yeah, yeah. Had a little bit of infighting <laughs> in 2017. I have some in 2018 so too. Maybe what was on screen there. I'm not talking about where the director took digs. Right. I'm talking about the other aspects. Right. Where we weren't all being our best selves. All of us. Maybe right. we need to be better. There you go. We all need to be better, don't we? I know I do. Yeah. You and, know you do. At the end, I, I look at it and I you saw me write my thing to Sydney, which is at the end, does it make you think about flat earth? Yes, it does. A whole bunch. Uh, it, it drills it into your head to the and we Patricia and I saw it firsthand up in Toronto at the world premiere, whereas they we were swarmed at the end by globalists, not who wanted our heads. They had questions. They weren't mocking. They weren't laughing. They weren't, they weren't mocking us. You know, who, like, who, you know who's upset by this documentary? Flat earthers. Yeah. 
And they should be, of course. Of course. I am too. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, it, it is what it is. I hate there's, that there's, expression, but it's perfect. There's nothing I can do to make you less upset. I tried and I tried and I tried. It's like, look, yeah. you're going to get mad at this. But anyone who is fresh off the street, they're going to look at this thing and they're going to do the same thing that they did to, to you and I, right. which is they're going to look like, wow. How does the sun work? How does the yeah. moon work? What about How, NASA? Did what they really about, yeah, fill the in the blank. Right. We were there. So, we could have we could have stayed at that theater for hours after that thing. The thing is, is that it's like real life. Real life mocks flat earthers. Forget about the documentary if it were never made. Right. People out there that you meet, that you try to flat smack or do right. street activism with, or your parents or your friends, for the most part, think you're nuts. Well, that's right. the way the documentary filmmaker did it. It's the same old thing. It's nothing new. We are not scarred from this. We are not slowed down by this. No. In fact, it's just... The words flat earth out there more. That's it. Yeah, find, find me a flat earther who watched it and said they wanted to quit afterwards. If anything, everyone was like, oh, I, you know, they get so, you know, get so worked up. I honestly thought Sydney was going to burn the place down. Yeah, because we get it. I remember feeling bad when I watched it, although there were parts of it that I enjoyed. Here's what I enjoyed. I enjoyed seeing the good parts where the community was together and right. we were doing things together. Yeah. The fact that we even do experiments, even if sometimes some of them don't work out, not because the Earth's a globe, but because it's really hard to do a, an experiment yeah. correctly. I, I loved, really I, I mean, not to break it down the too meet much. because you get The, the meetups, the meetups were fun. I love the Chris Pontius montage. I love yeah. the, the Raleigh There's breakdown. Uh, I love I loved the media montage. You know, when, when you're looking back, at you know, because this was after Kyrie did his thing and all, you know, so much stuff that was being in, uh, involved there uh, at the same time. Yeah. And and every time somebody came on screen like a scientist or a psychologist, you just, even though it was short, you want remember Scott Kelly was only on screen for like two minutes. And he lied. The they first lied. time I heard about Flat Earth, I was, I was in space. I was in space. <laughs> yeah, hated him. Anyway, but just to let you guys know, it is going to come out. I don't know if it's going to go through Netflix streaming or another site or is it going to be a the theatrical release or whatever, but it's now going to happen. So we'll have to see what happens. And of course, the other things real quick, uh, the National Geographic piece, we're still waiting for that. That's going to come out in the next few weeks. That one I'm going to hold, be holding. Oh, see, my that's going to be full on mockery. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They will, and that's not a mockumentary. You're going to be com wishing for the behind the curve documentary. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah what's that old saying? You're going to be wishing for these days because <laughs> exactly. when when National Geographic runs their piece and it and it gets traction, then Discovery Channel is going to do it, and right. History Channel, and but the other. You know what? All, we all have to hold on and, and be strong right. and not tear each other apart and point fingers and call shills because it's just the words flat earth getting out there. And you know, I don't like the term flat earth any more than some of you do, right. but what else are we going to call it? Uh, our, uh, our, our, our earth earth or something. I mean, <laughs> what is it that non globular earth that's not going to make people understand like flat earth does. Right. I don't like the term flat earth, but it's in my channel title because that's what mainstream understands means right. non-globe so that's what we're kind of stuck with you put anything you want on your channel that's fine yeah. but um we've got to remember the bottom line of why we're all here and it's not to tear each other down and the things that all of us are trying to do to get the word out no one's going to do it the way you do it or the way you want to do it except you so you do the way you want to do it and let the person to your right and left do it the way they want to do it Right. And just remember, we're on the same team. Same team. Hashtag same team. Yes. Yes. Right. Um, when it comes to what's really going on, NASA says there's a curve, but you know, we can't see it. Right. NASA says there's a spin, but we can't feel it. NASA says there's space, but we can't go to it. And they say there's a force, gravity, and we can't measure it. We know differently. And we're here to get the word out. Do it the way you see fit. And I will applaud you and share your work and have you on as a guest if it works out. And by the way, if you want to be a guest and you've got something to offer, please feel free to email me at mistyear at gmail.com. Thanks to everybody who's been here in the live chat. And thanks for all the thumbs down from the trolls. And if you can give it a thumbs up, that would be great. And if you come back to this video after it's made its way from Google Hangouts to YouTube, put hashtag same team into the uh, into the um, into the comment section. And if you're doing 
flat earth work where you're writing things, Facebook, or I don't know if you're writing things on Instagram or doing stuff on Twitter or wherever in your own video, even do hashtag same team, because we all can be different, but still be on the same team and support each other. Flat earth vegan says it all. We have to spread the truth. All right, everyone. Thank you for being here. And we're going to do a lot of tabulating and wearing out lead on pencils and get this thing together and present it to you at the Flatty Awards in Denver. Give out some trophies and reward people for their good work. Until then, keep it flat. Hail Hydra. Same team. George Clooney. Are we still live? Are you done? Am I done?